Welcome back, Christmas Crusaders. We're deep into Christmas week here at the My Favorite Saint Immaculate Conception Sanctuary and Drunken Nativity Scene. Ho, 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 hos. For years now, atheists have been keeping the Christ out of Christmas with their happy holidays and their season's greetings. They've been denying Christ for far too long, and we demand satisfaction. We demand it! Now, we're going to jingle our bells like you're a one-horse open slut. You're going to roast our chestnut until we make it a white Christmas all over your face. Stick your tongue out because here come the snowflakes. Now, sit back, take a deep breath, bite down on something, because we're going to shove our Yuletide log right into your holy night. Hashtag rape by Christmas. <laughs> well, the reindeer are having fun. Yes. Uh, aren't they? Aren't they adorable? I'm gonna go strangle three of them. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Fat Pat with Fat Pat, and I, with me, as always, is so tame. Uh, what? You miss it, like, like I feel like you miss the introduction. Like you fail on it every time. You with, almost nailed it. With me, as always, is so lame. Damn it! Wow. <laughs> uh, we, we are joined. I thought you guys were gonna bring it together once the stream started, but holy shit. Nice. But with us today, we have Clever Jester in the top box, and our favorite uh, Bible Reloaded guy, Hugo. Hugo from Hugo and Jake. But it's Hugo and Jake now. It and is. her name was Brady. Yeah. We'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah. Abandoning a beautiful name. I was in, the yeah. chat, I was in their chat earlier, and. Um, I'll hit your dog. And I hit your everybody dog. still has questions. I think it's pretty obvious. Why they did that? Oh, look, I'm going to go lock them in a, in a, I would say in the basement, except we're already there. Out of the basement. I'm going to lock them out of the basement. Hey, can we so, get a shot? Yeah. So, ho, 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 hoes. Uh, now. I'm going to go handle this. Go punch it. I'm going to do some beatings. All right. Here's what's going on. Uh, we are doing a movie, a Christmas movie review. And we, uh, the, the, the debate started accidentally. I posted something like a poll on Twitter and said, what's your favorite Christmas, mo uh, Christmas movie? I was only allowed to put up four movies. And then I said, if you have any other movies that you like better, blah, blah, blah. And then like, I didn't know I started a firestorm. And like me neglecting more, you know, all these other movies and didn't put them in the four categories. It was like I lost everything. I had people that were debating me over whether or not Die Hard's a Christmas movie. I had people saying, why don't you say Christmas Vacation, uh, A Christmas Story. It was all these things. I said, you know what? This needs to go to bracket. Tournament style Christmas movies. I said, this should be something we do live. So if uh, you don't have a way to get on Twitter right now, you need to figure it out quick. Like if you're on your computer, open another tab of Twitter. Make sure you are following one of us here. The links are in the description for the uh, Twitters. Uh, because we will be doing round by round, four movies at a time to find the best, and then the final will be a championship round. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be really good. So, so Nuki's like, Die Hard is a movie. I'm like, that's we're not arguing that. Yeah. No, we know it, it is. It is a movie. Die Hard is a movie, a Christmas movie, considered a Christmas movie. And it seems like for years, I've been fighting the Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and and uh, it hasn't been until recently that I've actually gotten some, some. Some momentum with that. People have said yes. Yeah. It is a Christmas movie. It is in fact. A I've always movie. thought it's a Christmas movie. The real question is: Is it the Christmas movie? That's what not we're if it's. Find is out. it your favorite Christmas movie? Because it's my favorite Christmas movie. But do I think that is the Christmas movie? No. Mm. Oh I do not. God. I mean, it. Uh, it's definitely a Christmas movie for one thing. I don't know why anyone would ever say it isn't. It ends with like a Christmas song for sure, and it starts with one as well. That Christmas rap from Christmas the, and, uh, Christmas this and Holland. Is Christmas music yeah <laughs> he got best character he fucking saved the day no big deal guys yeah but um so uh i guess it, we'll start that in about 10 15 as we'll start the tournament uh so get your twitters ready and be following us uh we will also be playing a game called evil eggnog which is a game mm. that there is no mm. winners mm. no there's only losers in evil eggnog <laughs> and that's a fact last year we yeah. we uh drank eggnog with hugo uh, oh, their, God. Their charity stream. Yeah, but that was, like, we were just drinking 
They were drinking, or uh, Jake was drinking eggnog. Hugo didn't drink any. He he put his lips to it a few times. I sipped it. It was disgusting. It's the first time I've ever had eggnog. Oh my god! Why? Pretty terrible, right? How did you get this far in life and just then find eggnog? Yeah. How has anyone who's had eggnog continued to live a fulfilling <sighs> life? Is once the real you, question. The thing is, once you put Wait, Jim you think- Beam in it, Jim Beam goes into eggnog and it becomes. Like, it's like something magical. That's what Christmas's balls taste like. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Just hot eggnog on my face, neck, and oh, chest. Mm-hmm. So, uh. so, <laughs> so um, what else were we going to do? Oh, well, I, I didn't want to discuss uh, the, the name change uh, for Hugo and Jake. From... Yeah, th- there's people in his chat just a couple hours ago in his chat, like, who were totally mystified. Why would they change their name? <laughs> <laughs> I actually I explained this on the on the live stream I was just on too. We got hit with a double whammy as far as YouTube's uh, algorithms because in our name we not Bible. only had Bible, which is religious, we also had Reloaded, which is a gun term. And I don't yep. know if you guys know, but yeah. YouTube's been cracking down That's on like two gun amendments. Use. Even in video games, it's been hurt like games that have guns in them are considered totes and approves. <laughs> yeah, it's really making so, me feel bad. That's why we decided to change the overall name to Hugo and Jake and Bible Reloaded is just the show that's under it. We're still doing all the same stuff. It's just, you know, our boss is a computer algorithm, so you kind of got to work <laughs> through it sometimes. See, I figured, well, because, like, uh, TJ Kirk went from Amazing Atheist to his name. I figured that everyone was just following suit and just changing their names. Well, I think... Uh, rebranding. Yeah, it's just rebranding. Now, now what you can't do is change the name of your channel because it always relies on that username. And uh, that's always, always going to haunt you. Ours will yeah. always be Zombie Werewolf Produk. You're a fucking moron, dude. <laughs> right, sorry. I love it. I love it so hard. But now, now it spices up some questions. But, yeah. Yeah, and now Zombie Werewolf long. will always have its out of place. Characters. I didn't realize I ran out of characters. You ran out of characters. And you like, think I that's good? Left- I think I would have left that if I saw that that was what the URL was going to end up being. We got <laughs> Poising the Well TV, so if you go to YouTube. Yeah, it, that's the, but you have to do YouTube.com forward slash C. No, you don't. For, oh, do you, you can't, will that work now? Yeah, it, it works. Never mind. But the thing is, when everybody tries to link us, they go to our channel. And it just grabs that. And it that. says, you know, forward slash zombie werewolf product. You're welcome. It's a mystery on top of an enigma wrapped in a... Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, it's nice. Um, wrapped in it. Uh. Wrapped in it. Uh. <laughs> so, mm. well, I'm gonna get. I guess let me get the the first thing started. Uh, the qu- the question I'm gonna start with is what make what do because it seems to be there's this defining line on Christmas movies on mm-hmm. whether or not this justifies itself to be a Christmas movie or this justifies it to be a Christmas. Movie. I had a big argument with um, the Britisher on Twitter the other day. What does he know about Christmas? He's British. It's all boxing. They have it. Oh, they have it over there, dude. Nah, it's boxing day. <laughs> so I said, I said, because uh, he was saying that Die Hard is absolutely not a Christmas movie. Just because you put a couple of Christmas songs in it does not make a Christmas movie. Oh, oh my God, that is actually like the only requirement I have. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm saying. Is that is that the requirement? That you... Yeah, it takes place at Christmas time during a Christmas party. Yeah, I think if it takes place at Christmas time and, and you learn Christmas, a lesson, yeah. well, it's part then of it's the arguments Christmas that were going on was it's a summer release. It was always released in like July, but it's a Christmas movie. I'm like, who gives a shit? Like, on on top of all that, I think it also helps. Die Hard has, I mean, the story. I know this is kind of stretching it, but fuck it, we're talking about it anyway. At the end of the day. Die Hard 1 is a story about John McClane trying to get his family back. That might involve terrorists and millions of dollars in bearer bonds, but that is a Christmas not message. Terrorists. That's just They're like not It's a Wonderful Life, isn't it? Yeah, it's practically the same plot. <laughs> it's like the same movie. <laughs> it's just I like plus, a remake. I can't say for sure, but I think you're wrong. I'm not 100% okay, though. Okay, maybe I haven't really watched Wonderful Life since I was a kid, but I think that was the, that was the gist. Yeah, I would have rewatched. It's a Wonderful Life if my life would have turned out anywhere near okay. Like, you know what I mean? Now I just feel like it mocks me. Like, the title mocks me. No, it's not a Wonderful Life. It's very difficult, and a lot of shit's going to disappoint you. I'd watch that movie. Yeah. 
<laughs> is that it's a really Christmas difficult? Movie? A lot of shit's gonna it's a really disappoint you. Life. Starring Hugo Grant. Yeah, look. Um, did you see Ann Coulter today? Tweet uh, her tweet. I her haven't. Tweet. I, I honestly stayed off. Her tweet time. like summed up Christmas for me and just life in general. Um, I'll pull that up on this other computer here in a little while because I think everybody will want to will want to soak soak that in. Um, Ann Coulter. I mean, first of all. She's a beautiful person. Inside. Here for the boat stuff. Put in the thing from the movie. Yes, you bring him in with that. <laughs> bring him in with the. I'd like to hear the argument from Hugo as to why he feels like Christmas Story hey, is a better like movie. Our, is a better Christmas video, movie. Like, it's a great. Crashed at some point. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, that that's, I was having a problem for a minute where everybody was glitching for me, but I wasn't sure if it was just my end. Did it just restart playing there? You didn't tell me that we quit. How many minutes in did we fucking Ten lose minutes? our stream? <laughs> so what do we do? Reboot? Woo! Did this seriously crash? It looks like yeah, that's crashed, dude. Oh shit! We are not live. <laughs> well, I'm glad we can all hang out and talk about this for our own benefit. Yeah, well, this, you know, this says we're live. Well, then we're live for 37 seconds. It just restarted. <laughs> it just restarted. Woo! See if it. Uh, I'm trying to pull it back up. Just go to our channel. Um, we'll use some movie magic later and splice all this together into some kind of coherent thing. Yeah, they just said it crashed right <laughs> after you mentioned Ann Coulter. Uh, oh, they missed all that Ann Coulter well, gold. Pat's computer turned off. Why did my computer? It come? just shut down and then went dung and then went to a green. Did you plug screen. it in? No, I look. Yeah, I was plugged in. To what? Which I'm, I'm which outlet? Out. It's probably an outlet. Oh, about, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> All right, everybody. Look, we're just going to stop this right now. Stop this nonsense, and we're going to try it again. We're going to try this again. <laughs> People are leaving comments already. Rip. <laughs> Rip. They left us too soon. Alright, um, <clears throat> look everybody, I can explain. I want to, um, I want to try to get in front of this scandal. Net neutrality. With a, <laughs> with a heartfelt. I can't do heartfelt. It um, was the with Koreans. A, with a sincere. Mm -mm. It was the Koreans. It's not me. Have y'all gone to Twitter and started your, your voting because you got probably gets going Oh, they have no there. idea what happened. They weren't, they couldn't hear any of that. Apparently... What uh, what Hugo said was the last thing that everyone heard was me mention Ann Coulter, and that was that was right before I really hilarious bit, so, probably one of our funniest bits ever. It was uh, it was a <laughs> mediocre at best. <laughs> All right. Anyway, what are you doing? What are you thinking? Oh, um. So anyway, we have a lot of apologies to make, and uh, so we're just gonna skip that. And uh, <laughs> I thought I thought we should start from the beginning. Just go ahead and play the intro again and act like we don't even know what the hell they're talking about. And everyone's like, oh, my God, am I in Groundhog Day? Which is not a Christmas that movie. That would have been a good idea. That is definitely not a Christmas. It's definitely a Groundhog Day movie. That is. <laughs> Look, our camera's locked up. Of course it is. Of course it is. Or uh, maybe I'm just drinking agua very slowly. That's vodka. Look, the camera's locked up. Can you, is there anything you can do to be? You know, I can kill myself. Um, <laughs> This is this is the problem when you try to we try to over fancy it. Classic over fancier this guy. We've always said that. Audio videos froze. Is the audio frozen too? Hmm? There's no way. Mr. Bone says audio comma videos froze. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. Wow, you got a $10 super chat okay, on don't... a frozen stream. <laughs> That's impressive. No one... All part of a plan. Super chat. <laughs> Learn to stream. P.S. Oh, God. $10 to go to stream school. You know, yeah. stream school's a lot more expensive. Than... No, just forget it. Also, <laughs> P.S. Thanks for the follow on Twitter. Uh, so fame. He's oh. super nice like that. I am like that. I am good like that, man. <laughs> it's like, it's one of my things. 
So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna keep moving on because I want to get this done. Uh, wow, two five dollar super chats. Wow. What the fuck? You guys, should, buddy. You guys should never fuck up your stream all the time. You're gonna make so much money. <laughs> Totes worth it. Yeah, five from Boogly says also love to Hugo. Pat, you still need to learn my love. And then Tanuki comes in with a fiver saying, Your stream is failing as bad as you guys hiding your homosexuality. Maybe we should uh, super Ooh. chat fanfic again to raise people's spirits. <laughs> don't, don't. That was a pretty sick fucking burn. <laughs> I'm just saying, that five dollars was worth every penny. Oh. <laughs> This, is, a, this isn't his first super chat. This isn't his first time scorching us in the super chat. He actually, he actually did that live when we went to VidCon. Um, so we got that little benefit. Um, he, uh, he actually, I saw him at it. We, we, our first night at VidCon, we went by a party at Leon Lush's house or and uh, Bunty King's house. Right. And uh, he walked up and handed me two dollars and then made fun of me. Basically, call us fags. <laughs> Right to our faces. Yeah. <laughs> but paid us for it. It was a real life super chat. That's right. the way to do it, though. He could always get insulted for free. Might as well get paid for it, man. <sighs> All right, we can go on, guys. Okay, cool. Christmas has been saved. <clears throat> Woo! All and right. we've also had some super chats in the meantime. So before we continue, okay. um, we got $2 from Boogly. Apparently, the test stream was useless. That's the thing is the test stream went great. That, that, Flawless. That's what the problem is. The yeah. test stream went too well. Flawless. Test stream, never a good test. Uh, and then uh, TidyCats10 says, whether you fail or succeed, I support you. Aw, hashtag. Thanks, feels guys. Good, man. Thanks, guys. That does feel nice. good. That does feel good. You guys are saving Christmas. You guys are my favorite Christmas movie. Okay. It looks like How the Grinch Stole Christmas. In round one, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, you have to re-explain what is going on okay. here because uh, they missed it I know. It I understand. I understand. But we did get some votes. Um, I mean, we did explain it, or you guys explained it beforehand in your previous stream. Or before to the, like 20 people. No, but be before the, the chat went down, no, I talked about it. No, before the test stream, the last oh. stream stream that no, you guys did. You I guys literally said it before we got into the actual round. They just didn't know what the okay. round was, so everyone okay. should have been on Twitter anyway. Uh, That's right. So, with a total of 60 votes, the final uh, for the first round for the classics was... 40% went to the How the Grinch Stole Christmas. You know, and we didn't even get to Poison the Well because on that, we didn't even talk about what our votes were on the stream. We all talked about them, but it was really just the four of us telling uh, telling jokes and uh, yeah. being clever with one another. Here's the thing. I would have voted because I didn't get to vote because I made the poll. Uh, I would have voted for a, a Christmas story. And you would have been and wrong. That, it came in second place. I, I did not expect that. Okay. I don't know. How could you possibly... Uh, how could a Grinch stole... I like a Grinch stole... Name how one stole thing Christmas. in the Christmas story that grows three times its normal size. Oh, I'm right here now. You were in another room a minute ago. Yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> I'm right here right now, and you're going to know about it. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, 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 okay, no, no, I yeah, think that's a legitimate do, concern. But the reason it is for me is because I grew... When I was growing up, I saw that movie more, far more than I ever saw. It's a wonderful... Or a, uh, Christmas story. A Christmas story. Yeah. Um, it played every year on public broadcasting, um, and uh, I saw it every year at Christmas, and so, therefore, I associated it with that. Um, I think, I think uh, Christmas Story is a, a very fun movie, yeah. but I d it, for well, me, to me, it's like because they they do the uh, TBS does a twenty four hour run of Christmas Story this. every year. Did you want a, a cocktail? Uh, no, I'm good because I'm already gonna throw up because of all the eggnog. So I don't need any, <laughs> any fuel to that fire, bro. So anyway, what's your you go for a Christmas story, other than it's a better cinematography I, I, <laughs> piece of cinematography? I think um, mostly because well, I do like how the Grinch stole Christmas. Obviously, it's a great little short or whatever. I forget exactly how long it is. It's only like 20 or 30 minutes long though. The cartoon version is the one we're ostensibly talking about. Yeah. Uh, uh, but is a, a, Chris, a Christmas story submerges you in this, I, I don't know how to put it. I think, as far as I'm concerned, what makes a good Christmas movie a good Christmas movie is it, it, it surrounds you in an atmosphere of Christmas. The whole time there's this feeling of it being it, around you. Because that's how you heart. feel around Christmas. Exactly. <laughs> sure. Um, it hugs my heart with tinsel. And... I do. What I like about the uh, Christmas story is because it's the whole idea of like the way kids daydream and the way they think of shit and how they can obsess about something. 
because uh, I was always that kid. My parents always said that apparently uh, for Christmas, I would always say, like, I wanted one particular thing. And, give and him, that's what you focused on. Gave him no wiggle room. There was no, I was like, I wanted a dirt bike. What you're either going to give me that or I, or you're ruining or, or, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. bust. And I said, I wanted a dirt bike. They're like, well, okay, if it wasn't a dirt bike, what else do you want? I'm like, no, that's probably pretty much it. And they was just, <laughs> it was just like, dirt bike or bust. And if they didn't get, guess who got a dirt bike? This guy. So you held them hostage. Yeah, but you held Christmas, Christmas hostage. hostage. <laughs> uh, but he got Christmas the bike hostage, is yeah. the point, obviously. <laughs> Blackmail is part of Christmas, isn't it? Blackmail is part of being a family, and that's what Christmas is all about. See, to our progressive videos, blackmail is part of Christmas. We got a couple super chats, by the way. Badger with the two euros. So Fane was fifty yesterday. Happy birthday, SF. And I think you're missing a couple commas there, but no big deal. Uh, RD tipped five dollars for no reason. No. And then he no tipped two dollars. Says I was just practicing sending a super chat earlier. Right <laughs> <laughs> Never war- done it before. Warming up my super chats, homie. Let me get these super guys chat knew fingers. I was coming. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's get on to round two. Um, we might as well. We might as well. Since since nobody got to hear my sweet, sweet Ann Coulter Christmas story. <laughs> <laughs> just told that to, to Hugo. That was just for Hugo. Well, I enjoyed but it he very much. It. It was very and nice. honestly, sending a joke out to the masses that may not care about it is one thing. But sending it to one person that really gives a shit about it. Mm-hmm. That's his care. It's much more special for me now. That's what now Christmas it's something. About. It's one of those like now what? it's something you and I can share forever, and it's just ours. Yeah, with two don't, other dudes. Don't tell Jake. Don't tell Jake. I won't. He probably doesn't know who Ann Coulter is. Some so. people probably just won't. kidding. But, Jake knows who Ann Coulter is, and he, she triggers the fuck out of him. There's, there's probably yeah. some people that, uh, which we didn't mention, why Jake isn't here. Uh, story behind that is date. he's a totes nerd, and he's he's off. Watching Star Wars. Yeah, I wore my Star like Wars, my Star Wars stormtrooper on a, uh, on a sled, a stormtrooper sledding through a winter wonderland. That's what I wore in honor of Christmas. That's what Christmas means to me. <laughs> Jester, Jester wore his Christmas midriff. My actual Christmas sweater. Yeah. With a bunch of drunken seals. Feels good, man. Seal that party. That that one looks one like he vomited, and that's my favorite seal. Well, this one also did a little bit. He's he, This looks more like a puke and rally sort of guy, so I feel like this would be you. This is more me hugging the toilet. I am a puke like, and into rally the Christmas guy. party kind of thing. Um, all right, so round two. This is uh, the nice list. Uh, number one, the Santa Claus, the uh-huh. Tim Allen movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlie Brown's uh, Christmas. So I just watched that in the other day. I hadn't watched that in a while. Okay. Well, animation has come a very long way. Charlie's Round Christmas. That is, <laughs> that's been around for a long ass fucking time. I know, time. but I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, you know what? Technically, this is very good animation because it was just a cartoon strip. So it moving at all? Yeah, it's like world. magic. That is movie magic. Crazy. Spielberg <laughs> of its day. Um, number three, Muppets Christmas Carol. And I'll tell you mm. why. Please tell us why, because I find that to be a questionable choice. Yeah, I, I did too. I did too, because when I was going it's through controversial, the, if you when will. when I posted the first thing, and I had people tell me what was a Christmas movie they watch or that they think should be uh, should should hold some weight, uh, they Muppet Christmas Carol kept showing up. No one said the Jim Carrey, which Jim Carrey seems to do a lot of Christmas movies. The Jim Carrey Christmas Carol. No one mentioned the Disney Christmas Carol or any other adaptation. It seemed the most popular adaptation of really? Christmas Carol was the, the Muppets. Muppets. I watch the Muppet Christmas Carol every year. I watch so it. I maybe it's an it. age thing. It's just a certain groupers. Because like, yeah, I'm younger than you guys by a little is, bit. That is mean. I just I bought it. Oh, <laughs> well, it's just true. Sorry. <laughs> I bought Muppets Christmas Carol on Voodoo so I would have it for Christmas Day to watch because I was going to watch it. Another one I watch, the other version of Christmas Carol I watch is the Black Adder's Christmas Carol, but no one... No. no I feel one. like the no Scrooge, in the, in the... Scrooge with Bill Murray is the greatest of the Christmas Carol stories. I like Scrooge. Scrooge is good. Yeah. Anyway, so that was <laughs> that was the one I went with. Ignored. With uh, Muppets Christmas Carol. And then the last option in that group is Nightmare Before Christmas, which I also, also think that doubles as like a Halloween movie. You it does. That, that's twofer. a twofer, yeah. It's, a twofer, yeah. it's really good, but I think it fits better for Christmas. It is a Christmas movie. Yeah, movie. absolutely. So uh, everyone get to your Twitters because the poll is going up now. You know what I'd like to know is if, 
if nice if, like I do agree that Nightmare Before Christmas is both a Christmas and a and a Halloween movie, but which one would it be a little like if you had to decide? I think it's more to, Christmas. I think it's more Christmas because it's, it actually takes place. It's more Christmas, Christmas centric. Time. It's yeah. him trying. What about to what about you, Hugo? You're the only one who actually probably knows about movies. We just watch yeah, them. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, well, most people, and I would agree that the consensus is going to definitely say, a, um, a nightmare before Christmas is a Christmas movie. I always watch it on Halloween just because of all, I mean, you look at the movie. I watch it both. Yeah. <laughs> I watch it and look at that fucking thing. No, I mean, look at the art, art direction and everything though. It's so, it's, yeah, it's I mean, Tim Burton. fucking it is t- it's Tim Burton. Really t- wow. Tim right now, it. right now, the voting with four votes in Dead is heat. one for every movie. What, what have that, what has everybody voted for? That here. was one for each one. Oh, okay, here I voted for Charlie Brown's Christmas. Oh, you're the one that even to back out because it was three votes I sold it in. I sold it out. Okay. I sold you guys out that on that Nightmare Before for? Christmas, actually because Hugo just said he watches on Halloween, and I do too. It, it's a... Uh, He's got to go. What did you well, here's my thing. That? I would watch it on Halloween, but if I don't get to it on Halloween, because I like for, if you for don't me, get to it. Well, no, uh, October's just so full. I watch. <laughs> I'm watching Flash Rocky Horror, Horror Picture Show every Halloween, and uh, and <laughs> Saw movies or something else horrible, and so sometimes it doesn't make it, and I can always just push it back to Christmas. So I know I've got you know I've got time for it. That's fair. If I don't get that to is it. fair. What did you vote for, though, out of that group? I couldn't. I'm not a vote since I made the poll. Oh, yeah. But what I, would you have voted for? I would have gone Nightmare Before Christmas. Hugo? Okay, so Hugo was just bagging on Nightmare Before Christmas. Cause I, well, I'm not bad. I, I love, oh, I love Nightmare Before was... Christmas. It's just in my head, category-wise, I think Halloween first. I, I, know, I understand. I but, so what did you give the nod to? It has Sorry, what? So what, so what was your, what what was was your, your vote, vote on that? Oh, I voted for the Santa Claus because, again, Santa maybe it's because I, when I was a kid when that came out, I was like the exact demographic for that. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. See, that I, was like thing. I like with that movie with, when the Santa Claus came out. Maybe I was a little older, and I just that was what the nineties, right? I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like the movie. I, I still do love the movie. I think it's fantastic, but I just never seemed. To, I don't think I've watched it again since. It came out. Yeah, I watched it recently. It weirdly doesn't hold up doesn't as not? you think. Yeah, really? I watched what? It again, the special like, effects weren't the three D animation looked hokey. Yeah. What no, was l- it? No, let me let me tell you something. <laughs> it's uh, there's something about there's certain movies that seem to be timeless, and there's other movies that just don't hold up. Like I would say Batman with Michael Keaton. I loved it. It's actually what made me a Batman fan. I didn't like DC Comics at all when I was a kid. Fair enough. And Michael Keaton's Batman made me love it. That one didn't hold up. If you watch it now, it oh, yeah. doesn't oh, hold no. up the very well. The first three, as much as but I would. honestly, I think Batman Returns with uh, Danny DeVito as a penguin, that one holds up better. That, but that's only because of Danny DeVito. I know. He crushed it. Honestly, I, I think you're really underselling Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. I don't want to have like, a boner wow. right now. Yeah, like, could we just... I've already got boners? a Danny DeVito boner. I can't get, put a Michelle Pfeiffer boner right on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, the Santa Claus, like, I mean, I, I guess I associate it with a negative period of my life because I was halfway through my first marriage at that point. <laughs> so yeah. everything sucked at that point. So yeah, cares. my life was grim. grim. It, grim. It, was like a, it was like living in an Ann Coulter tweet. Ha, you guys get that, right? Call back. Call back anyway, to, uh, I get it. They're in the shutdown <laughs> part. Yeah, I get it. I don't know about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, that joke killed everywhere else. I don't fucking get these guys. <laughs> I think honestly the the downfall of the Santa Claus is Tim Allen. I think Tim Allen as an actor doesn't hold up. Really? Like when yeah. you watch, like when I watch Tim Allen, like when I watch really Home Hugo's shit, on board I'm like, with this. I'm like, ah, really? I don't Hugo's know. on board with He's this. He's not as funny let, as I remember. Let me explain. I, I I can explain. I know that sounds contradictory. Uh, I like the Santa Claus for purely nostalgic reasons, right. which is the reason I can also watch the shitty, shitty sequels. Yeah, I yeah. watched the Santa Claus. I watched three. I saw part of the sequel. <laughs> the one with uh, Martin Short. Martin Short. Yeah, Martin Short. That's the third it. one. Terrible movie. I still yeah, watch it. Anyway, from, what, from the the part I saw, I, I caught like the middle of it. It it was like so corny. Yeah, it's really bad. It was cornier than my poop. That's cornier than ethanol. You don't eat corn, uh, dude. So, all right. So, so I mean, you still watch all three? Oh yeah, they're on Netflix. I watched the Santa Claus. I watched the Santa Claus three probably a month ago. Hmm. I'm not kidding. 
a little early. Here's some quotes. Yeah. <laughs> I watched Santa it's... Claus mid-November because fuck this. <laughs> I I have a weird hobby for liking really terrible fucking movies. That's what one of the reasons I have a Pure Flix subscription too, so I can watch all those really bad religious what? movies. What, dude? You guys? Yeah. I will say, I will say, uh, my favorite thing. Like, okay, I got into your channel obviously because of the Bible Reloaded. Um, and uh, back in the heyday, like of uh, you know when the when the skeptics were were skeptics and not pundits, um, yeah. the uh, before everything became political, that whole thing fighting against the creations, I was fascinated with it, and I actually forced Patrick to start watching this. And one day, like uh, I hooked him with the chick tracks. Well, that, that's um, yeah, that's, that's what that, brought that's, that's good, what brought him in. That was a good one pull. day we just watched it all day. This is before we ever made a video, and I, we watched it all day. But what the ones I look forward to is you guys watching um, a religious movie and uh, and doing your critique of it. That I I live for that, and I only know of Pure Flix because of you. <laughs> oh God! This is well, what you did to I'm me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. I, I'm Speaking not even kidding. Right now, this is my work desk. A, I have uh, like five movies here too that work. <laughs> I saw you got some more today. Super we did chat? just get yeah. a super chat from Boogly asking Hugo to share his perspective on watching the George Clooney Batman. Oh God. Okay, I didn't. For for reference, I didn't see that one until much later. So I had seen obviously uh, the 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 Michael Keaton um, right. Batman movies, the first two. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see the. Th Third one with what's his Val face? Kilmer, Val, Kilmer, yeah. Val Kilmer. Yeah, that one's gross wasn't now. Horrible. I didn't, I didn't hate it. No, what? I mean, it wasn't good. It was the worst. No, no, no. George, George no, no, no. Was way oh, you're, worse. Oh, you're right. Poison Ivy. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. No, okay. Batman. Batman. Uh, Batman. Why? But then later, I saw the uh, Batman Forever, whatever it is, with uh, God, Batgirls in it. Oh God. Jim Carrey but and Alicia I'll, Silverstone. I'll, yeah. I'll give you one thing. I'm I'm glad I live in a world where I got to see the turd that was Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. It's 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 like I Olympic loved... gold medal winning bad. All the amazing. <laughs> All the bad puns. The bad puns are like Everybody I... freeze. <laughs> Ice to meet you. There's Ice a scene. It is so good. Do you guys remember, there's a scene in that movie <laughs> where Mr. Freeze sings that song from one of those old Rankin Bass, uh, like, Rudolph specials? Yes. The There's a scene where Arnold yeah, Schwarzenegger... Just, I think it's the Jack Frost thing. I almost feel like, I almost feel yeah. like the, the director's like, wait, 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 we got Arnold going to play Mr. Freeze? <laughs> it was Schumacher, dude. And then, like, one of his friends, like, bet him, like, can you get him to sing this song? Get Arnold to sing the song. <laughs> Mr. Schumacher, I don't want to... Okay. It's like... He's, well, he's, like, he's like, I'm gonna, gonna, he's like, I'm gonna win this piece. fucking bet. I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make that was nineties Arnold. You, 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 you like could get him to do pretty Schumacher. much whatever. That guy belongs to no yeah. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> like, go on, then we had Arnold just go on the spot. Well, he's Hugo's right. Fabulous. Hugo's oh. right. That Arnold would do anything. Oh yeah, back that that time. That, oh, that was when that was, was when Arnold late was on the coat on the tails of his like early reign. Early two thousand or late nineties. When was it? It was late nineties. Late it was, 90s. It was on the coattails of his like reigning at, on you know as like Terminator and Running Man and fucking uh, Eraser, all that shit. So he liked to take like, a nice Yo. steamy crap on the end of his movie career. On his legacy, <laughs> and then go be the be the governor. Hey, bro. You can't talk Total Recall. You know, you just gotta be fucking. Do yeah, once do once you've had Assistant Kane, what the fuck are you gonna do? Yeah. Orson. <laughs> shit on Rosebud and send it down the mountains. <laughs> Rosebud was a sled, it was everybody. A sled. It's a Christmas reference, everybody. Also, <laughs> it all comes back around. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> uh, oh, my buzz is starting to make me forgive. That you fucked up everything? Here's the thing. Jester, I pride myself in production. I know, and Jester, you were... We and were... shitting the bed on production is, like, a nightmare for me. It's like it's like when you almost get in a fucking accident, like you're going, like, on down the interstate in the middle of fucking Atlanta, and sh everybody is it's bumper to bumper traffic at 85 miles an hour, and somebody almost fucking hits you, and you barely get out of it, and it's you get that poop. feeling, like, where you're like, oh, my God! But then you're like, oh, my God. I'm alive. I'm alive. I've... I've been like dealing with that feeling ever since we went <laughs> discovered that we weren't live anymore. I've had that feeling, <laughs> and now like whew, got a little buzz on. I'm like, all right. Artemis uh, just paid 
two bucks, and he said, get your vape closer to the mic, Fane. Right. Here, I'll I use like mine, that's too. Sarcastic. That's I right. Like that's sarcastic. They just pay, they like they're they're paying, they're paying money now just to have you be a douche. Like, <laughs> can you chill with the ASMR Look at that fam? fucking vape that fucking Hugo's got, though. Holy yep. shit, how many batteries does that have in it? Eight? I have no idea. It recharges. So. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, why does it look, look like Look how a... elegant my vape seems now, Yeah, but now, his, 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 his is like a laptop. He's got a little... Yes. <laughs> it's because mine does dry herbs. I assume yours does the liquid. So it has to be bigger. Oh. Yeah, yours is actually what? like a little cook fire. Look, uh, from what yeah. I hear, it's yeah. not the size of your vape that matters, right, hey, ladies? Why haven't we seen any dogs? One right here, there's literally. literally one right there. But where's the one that like can't be without us? Yeah, he was crawling on the table okay. over here. All right, well, anyway, anyway, are we wrapping up this round now? Hold on, I think the round's over. Uh, it should be over. We got one minute left. One minute left. What one? Get your votes in now. Hold on, I hold on, let me refresh and see what the votes are at. Strangely, a poll's ending. Yeah, Charlie Brown's Christmas was, was actually in there. yeah. Charlie Brown's Christmas surged ahead, which I did not what? expect. We got more votes in this time, well, so it's more science sciency. It's definitely sciency. This was they All right. were right. Dude, well, it looks it looks like um, wow, Santa Claus got sixteen percent, but Charlie Brown's Christmas has twenty nine percent. It was actually closing on Nightmare Bef uh, Before Christmas, but thank it, you, people in my age group. It did lose to Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare it Before did. Christmas won that round. Yeah, and that's what we predicted would happen. <laughs> that doesn't we, shock me. That we laid tough. we laid odds on this uh, the Before, other night yeah. while we were drunk, yeah. and um, that was that was who we saw coming out of this first uh, this first group. Mm -hmm. Poll ending. All right, that's a wrap. So Nightmare Cru for Before Christmas moves on. Now, all right. I'm gonna do another shot here. Would you like another one too? I don't know how upset you've been about production. Uh, it's been very upset. Plus the uh, Ann Coulter joke, hilarious shit. Being super drunk will help the technical aspects as well. People get really good at electronics when they're super wasted. So. Yeah, actually, one of the problems with this nice fucking laptop I have, it's a really nice laptop. It's beyond his abilities. Is um, <laughs> that the keys are all sticky because during one of our live streams, I spilled a beer all in it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, and I just sat there and hung my head, and Pat was like, are you going to do something about that? As beers was like, glug, 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 glug. Um, and so my reaction time was poor. Was well, poor. you never know, man. Maybe the computer wanted some, too. Now it's all happy. Yeah, yeah. So everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, okay, Pat, you're typing up the next uh, round. The next round's about to start. Um, all right, now look. I don't know. I don't know what was missed. Did we go through the what makes a Christmas movie? Hugo, let's just restate it just in case. I don't remember okay. if it made it. What you think makes a Christmas movie? Uh, I think a movie needs to submerge you in an atmosphere of Christmas, the same way you feel it when you go outside in the season. Uh, borderline overwhelming when you go into stores and stuff, and you're assaulted with all their ah oh, Christmas. Like that, but in movie form and not annoying, if that makes sense. Ooh, that's like, a uh, fucking order. I already drank it, man. I'm, uh, I am don't have time for your Twitter polling. All right. Well, now, round three. This is the naughty list. The naughty list. I'm getting so. corn cob by my puppy. He's corn cobbing me. He's corn cobbing my uh, We learned that new phrase today, like when your dog like, just gives like you tiny nibble. bites. Just like, nibbles Just on tiny me. nibbles. That apparently is called corn cobbing. And it's an affection. And I feel like... That's all right. Never mind. I don't want to get. If that's not the jokes. name of a sexual act, someone make one it up and call it that like, right now. That's what I heard. Slob on my knob. Yeah, I was corn like cobbing on my knob. Corn cobbing has yeah. to do with a dick. <laughs> Just butter it up. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Oh no. All right. So are we going live with the tweet? All right. Did you tweet? Did you twat it? Well, well we got a. Uh, I just said the naughty list round three is all yeah, I said. Yeah, hold on, real quick. We did get a. Uh, oh, a you're reading chat, it out. Super uh, chat from Graveyard Lemons Five. He says uh, today's my 21st birthday. Cheers, guys, from Clara. Hey, nice. legal drinking. Hey, I Woo! hope you are. I hope you are drinking with us. Um, and uh, congratulations. The the this is not the last birthday you'll look forward to. 
but there's only one more, and that's uh, 25. 25. You get to rent a car. You can rent a car, <laughs> and your insurance will go down a smackle. And um, at 35, you can run for president. Nope. Nobody gives a fuck about that. N- literally, no one wants well, yeah, to run for president. At this point, the seat just looked embarrassing. No, like, why would, like, I why would you want to do that? Why would you? Even if you're like the best of us, <laughs> you're just going to get shit on for four years and turn gray. <laughs> fuck that, All right, man. Well, Sanuki came in real quick uh, with another two. Andy Williams is the only proper Christmas music. Andy Williams. Holy fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> so, best you Christmas just edged movie. Me on this Round old three, thing. naughty list. It's Bad Santa. Okay. Scrooged. Mmm, nice. Christmas Vacation. Mm hmm. And Gremlins. Oh, man. This is a tough oh, fucking fuck. round. This is the round I, is. I, I think is going to be the tough one. This one's tough. That seems fairly simple. Did you um, just post that? I want to read. I want to vote and retweet. It is live now. So, you got 12 minutes to put in your, uh, your votes on that. Now, I just watched Gremlins the other day, and, and here's the thing. Um, Gremlins, like, I hadn't really watched Gremlins in, in, in years, and I was like, okay, everyone says this is a Christmas movie. I do remember there being snow, but, like, when I watched it, I don't know if I ever... Re- and then I Yeah, there I was, was. There was a lot of Christmas, actually, in the stores. And I re- as and I rewatched it, I was like, oh, yeah, it's so... Just in the middle of Christmas. And wow. to me, that's what makes it Christmas that's movie. Why the, that's why they got the Mogwai. You're right. He got it for his son for Christmas. For Christmas. But like, I watch, it was a Christmas as I'm, wa- as I'm watching that movie, I'm sitting there going, okay, th- I think I see where where I come from and where I think it's like the majority of people. If the movie is, is involved heavily with Christmas, it becomes a Christmas movie. Regardless of its release yeah. date. A lot of people were saying that, you know, because of the release date, it was a summer you know blockbuster. That makes it uh, not a Christmas movie. I'm like, but it's, I mean, you put, start putting Christmas songs in your movies and... Well, that didn't we work they for can't be Die Hard, though. For that's what, that's what I'm Die Hard has four Christmas songs in it. Straight up Christmas songs. And also, li- and so, the, so many one-liners. The, the British- also, I gotta bolster your uh, Die Hard argument. Die Hard 2 also takes place during Christmas, which is an intentional it choice. Does. Yes, he, he yeah. puts it back and there's snow. This isn't a random thing like yeah. we were trying to be yeah. historically accurate about the Nakatomi incident. But like they, <laughs> they were yeah. having a shootout on sl- snowmobiles. Like how Christmassy is that? It's the Christmas cyst. Yeah. It's the Christmas cyst. This is. All right. Um. So, so so I had an argument with the Britisher over right. Die Hard. Uh, All right, look, Die Hard's in the next round, isn't it? We'll save with the Die Hard talk. Okay, before I'll we s- dive in, I'll save. I'll so save we have it. something to talk about, or we can all just sit here and like reminisce over the awesome wow. fucking joke I made. How that is you the guys first, in here? Like, no one voted for Christmas Vacation yet. Like, I voted for Christmas Vacation. I voted you need for to refresh. Scrooge. I was refresh. really surprised that Gremlins started taking a me. So you voted yeah. for Scrooge. Let's, yeah. start, let's start with Zach. A jester, sorry, oh, Doc's right. Doc's cocky, everybody. Hey, don't tell us your real name, Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> just just a yeah. tip, because uh, I'll just dox the fuck out of you. Anyway, um, all right, Jester. I think, obviously, like, I, I do agree with the idea that if, in order for it to be a Christmas movie, it, it has to so- somehow immerse you in the Christmas, Christmas atmosphere, but I think you could be taken a step further by... Um, learning a Christmassy life lesson, which I feel like was happen was happening in within Scrooge. I feel like the Scrooge tale, the Christmas. You gotta tale, love it. You like it. You love everybody. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a classic Christmas tale. That was my Bill Murray. By Re- That's not a Redone bad Bill Murray. By Bill Murray, like how do you top that? I don't understand. A classic Christmas tale, redelivered by Bill Murray, who's, who, in my opinion, is one of the greatest of all time. And now he's got the Murriest Christmas on Netflix. I haven't what's seen the, that yet. I watched it last year. Christmas too. present, a fairy. I can't remember the actress's name. Uh, the chick Crushed that was on uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and... Uh, at the office? No. no. No, the older chick. The chick that was in Scrooge, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, fairy, yeah. the fairy chick. The fairy yeah, I can't that remember was her name. Christmas present. But... All right, so so Scrooged. All right, I get that, and I should Wait, turn off is, my Facebook notifications. Okay, Jable Boogley just said, "Is no one going to mention the Christmas scene at the end of Jumanji? Technically, Christmas movie. Like, okay, an incidental Christmas scene in a movie does does not does make not work. Christmas... I agree with Hugo that it does have to immerse you. Yeah, in yeah. Christmas. That was why I felt Die Hard. I'm not going back and die. It can't just be like, oh, oh, by the way, Christmas. And then it's like, oh, Christmas. All right, so so Scrooge. How about you, Pat? How about you, Pat? My vote for this would have been, oh, this is such a tough one. This is the toughest one. It's Bill Murray. It's super obvious. (laughs) All right, stop campaigning for your boy, for the goat. (laughs) 
He is the goat, though. You know what? I'm I'm point. gonna I'm gonna go rogue on this one. Go bad Santa. That was the one. I love that movie. So I do much. love that movie. And yeah. everyone gave a gave a big yeah. shit on the second movie. And honestly, I thought the second movie was still very yeah, I watched, funny. I watched both of them. I thought. The I don't think I don't think it was like as good as the first. No, or anything, during that time, he but was it totally, carries well. During that time, he was totally slamming some hot poon. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, I, just, I, mean, I fucking that have you, a resentment towards that bad Santa. That smells like Christmas. Are you gonna wear the the fane hat? I mean, you got the fame hat. Oh, I got my special hat? Yeah, I'll wear my special hat. It is a fame hat. Anyway. I just have a special resentment towards Bat Santa because apparently Lorelai Gilmore becomes a big whore after she leaves Stars Hollow. I'm really wow. upset about that. Wow. <laughs> just really wow. Wow. It. Gilmore girls, Jesus Christ. It's he's, good show. He it's loves good show. Gilmore. I don't like the rework. Look, you're wearing, he's wearing stripper slippers. Yeah. Dude, they're super comfy. Yeah, they're women's. I don't care. Comfortable as fuck. <laughs> I was trying to find. I us. got him in double XL though. I was trying. To, I was trying to find my size. Oh, but and... the thing is, you can't see my puff ball. It's there though. Put your. Put your yeah. Put those All right. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, really anyway, though, this is better. Like, I, I like to wear this one to the beach. <laughs> um, when well, you're casual, Santa. Yeah. <laughs> or like to tennis matches. This is what I would wear to Wimbledon. Is <laughs> Wimbledon a Christmas sporting yeah. event? Well, th that's for another. That's for another live stream. All right, now, now, what about you, Hugo? This, this is a tough, this is a tough set of four. Where do you land? I, I did vote for Scrooge, but I'll, I'll, I'll give Gremlins some due here because we already talked about Scrooge. Uh, Gremlins, the scene for whatever reason that pops out to me the most is a scene that ties directly into Christmas, and that's the scene where there's a record playing and there, it's a Christmas song. It's um, yeah, it's like. Do you hear what? I, whatever that song <laughs> right. is. And this lady or something's looking around her house, and then I just remember that. And I think she gets killed with some sort of Christmas decor <laughs> or something, too. I don't but remember. It was immersive. So really yeah. ties into Look, the Christmas spirit. The, yeah. The, 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 the best part of the movie was when the, the old woman gets in her, her chair to ride up the stairs. And it gets like turbocharged by a gremlin and fires her out the yeah, house. Yeah. I still cry laugh when I see like it's so hilarious to me. Yeah, like 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 they, putting geriatrics in danger is 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 always hilarious. But like they could like okay, probably would have been too much. They could, they, but they could have spiked the football had they just done kind of like an ET thing, like had her flying across the moon. <laughs> just had the silhouette of her fly. Maybe a little Santa Claus jingle bell sound. Yeah, but that was too close to E.T. Like, it would have been... Steve Spielberg just doubling down all of his shit. Mm. <laughs> we got a uh, double super chat. A five from uh, Artemis saying, uh, I feel like Lethal Weapon is as much of a Christmas movie as Die Hard. And then another five from Boogly saying, Well, just wait for the next round. All Hugo Lethal look Weapon. like the bad boys uh, from Gilmore Girls. All right, I'm changing my hat. Wait, look like the bad boys. Who are the bad boys from Gilmore Girls? <laughs> I feel like you haven't seen Gilmore Girls. There's only one don't bad boy. Don't get these boy. two started, dude. I don't watch Gilmore Girls, so. Meh. Well, you do. It you might liar. not be your choice. You just you, you just told a oh, lie. Oh, to well, no, 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 no. It, it has played in the background. Yeah. No, but you, you I'm, I'm in. I am in the room. But. When it's happening. Yeah, that's called watching, dude. Well, <laughs> I can add in. Okay, hold on. Well, the next round then might have to. All right, no, 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 no. Nope. Hold on, hold on, hold Wait, on. Wait, you're going to change the movies? All right, anyway. I, I will, I will. Let me talk I will, about what I'm doing. I will I allow for. a Can I talk about me? Yeah, talk about you. God. I will it. allow a substitution. I voted for, and what's funny is uh, two, two, two of you voted for Scrooge, and you voted for Bad Santa. I voted for Christmas Vacation. Um, <laughs> I think it fits all the criteria that Hugo uh, said. I think it's a very immersive Christmas movie, but the, 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 the power. The power scene is one of those iconic scenes yeah. in film history like that everybody just... everybody knows it even yeah. if they haven't seen the movie. Even if you haven't seen the movie, yeah. you you get it. Yes. Um, yeah. And I can agree with that. The way it just shut down America, <laughs> I felt like it did. I just, I, I cry laughed. Um, I loved it. And I will, I will, crazily enough, tend to lean towards comedies. Uh, a little bit more. If a, if a movie makes me laugh, um, and it, I tend to lean toward it. Or if it makes me feel shitty, like my favorite one of, well, I'd say it's top three now, but Glory. Glory makes you feel so fucking much. Like, and 
Ugh! I mean, I love it. It just made me feel so much of the suck. That was the problem. But if you, like, make me laugh a lot, or if you make me really think, hey, maybe white guilt is a thing, then either one of those. Either one of those, and I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> Interchangeable. All right. Okay. So, uh. All right. Here's, here's, I, I, I have a And what's funny is I believe I told you, I told, I told you a lie when we were predicting what was going to happen. I think we predicted Gremlins would win this round. Really? I think we did predict Gremlins. We did predict, and I said I would vote for it, but I changed my mind after thinking about, thinking about it. Um, Christmas story, Christmas vacation is... Well, that was my thing. It's like I thought Christmas Vacation Damn. Gremlins. That's and then I put Scrooge in there. Went, this is gonna be a very Scrooge tough round. makes it tough. I would vote for Scrooge and probably in the last. If you put Scrooge in the last round, even though it wouldn't fit the theme, I probably would have voted for it there. But this round is um, it was too tough and uh, Christmas Vacation. I felt like deserved to move to the to the final heat. So we're just going to have a list of movies that doesn't include Bill Murray in it. This is what we're doing. We're just allowing this to happen. So we've got one minute left. We've got one minute and left. And one looks, movie's running away with it. Yeah, it looks like Gremlins is absolutely yeah. just going to yeah. take this one. So, I mean, do we feel it like it's, 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 we can go ahead and just round. concede on this round? Yeah. We'll let it We'll let it finish. We'll let it finish out. But well, there's unless there's some kind of... One by 40%. Yo, get your Scrooge votes in quick. <laughs> like, Yo, <laughs> I, I thought Last this would chance be to not way be a closer. horrible person making See, wrong we got, decisions. I got somebody already... Uh, Cyberpunk, he, uh, he tweeted, he said, Bad Santa all the way. I agree. I think Bad Santa is a fantastic Christmas movie. I prefer Bad Santa over, over Gremlins. I prefer any of the movies over Gremlins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that's a hard take, man. Yeah, I know. That's not going to come take. across well to 40, 41% of people, if I had to guess. <laughs> I really didn't. Yeah, I did not expect the margins to be so dramatic. No, this I thought one. this one was going to be really narrow finish. That's why I was I was trying to put these categories. We don't understand well, movies. Well, it's a narrow finish for you That's guys. why we had yeah, Hugo, that's... everybody. Okay. That's why we brought on Hugo, okay, because so... he actually seems to talk about and care about movies. Well, that's that was a good call. Where we think. watch movies and then like pick our favorites for Look, completely weird the reasons. The only other option I had for a, to invite a guest on this is I was going to contact Adam from Your Movie Sex. Your Movie Sex. Your Movie Sex? Your Movie Sex. Oh, that's his other channel. You don't know about that one. Your movie sucks. Uh, That's his Skype channel. And I was going to have him on because he does a lot of movies. But Hugo, he talks about movies a lot and seems to watch a that's, lot of movies. That's from, that's from yeah, on their uh, Unpop. Yeah, and that was like, Unpop okay, channel. well, then then we could actually have someone that has has some insight on movies. Not just be like, I don't know, I don't really watch movies. Yeah, and for the 12 of you out there who've actually suffered through three restarts, and um, do, do we even want to know? How many people are actually I watching know. this I'm right now? Are we down right. to 30? All right, well, you guys do that. We got two back-to-back -back Super Chats. One from Boogly with a fiver says, Don't forget to check out the YouTube Saints. 7.30 PST on Sundays. Get the butt. 4.30-ish Thursdays on Twitch. Hashtag LSD. People are buying advertising. <laughs> that is fucking brilliant. And because... two from King Brawley. My vape is way better than yours, Fane. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah that's dude, you, true, I, th I still think, by the way, that that's fucking hilarious, and is and is a proof to, okay. to and all right, all right problems look, look. that YouTube wow. Saints on Twitch. I still think the same. Okay. Words, YouTube Saints on Twitch is hilarious. is a little fucking weird. And let me go ahead and put it out there. First of all, um, both Jeff Holiday and uh, Wizard of Cause, uh, who I managed not to dox right there. Hey. Um, Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to... All right. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you, Hugh. Um, they, uh, they're, they're, they're actually what I would call close personal friends of ours. Yeah. Um, and uh, yes, absolutely everyone should be watching YouTube Saints. But YouTube Saints on Twitch, I do agree. <laughs> what? <laughs> like... What? Did you... Poor Qua. Did you type in the wrong stream key or uh, what? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, so there, they, there was our YouTube Saints on Twitch bit, everybody. Uh, we're working on it. It's it was that, excellent. It, 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 we need to script it out. We're just workshopping All right, it right so now. So round three, uh, Bad Santa took a, a big surge towards the end. Did it? Um, yeah, it almost caught with Scrooge. Um, we had 61 votes. 
38% went to Gremlins. So Gremlins won half Gremlins, down. like, beat the fuck Christmas out of Christmas Vacation came in dead last in that category. That shocks me. It, I hear so many people love that Christmas game. Because it. it seemed... Yeah. yeah, that's the other thing. It was It's a Christmas thing. So many people... It's 100% immersive. When when I posted that, that first poll, uh, just up on the whim one morning... Whim. It, like, Christmas Vacation seemed to be the one that everyone was saying, why did I not put that one in? Yeah, like when they saw it, like somebody suggested it. Right. It was like, what about mm-hmm. Christmas? Yeah, and then it was like, it happens to me. Or it was like, that like, oh, was. Yeah, the... no, you're right, you're right. Yeah, because, it's... but the thing is, this was a tough fucking round. And, and what I didn't realize until you started doing this whole fucking nonsense, um, which I love your bits, man. I love your writing. Come on, come on. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Come on, look at you. Look at those eyes. Look at those beautiful eyes. Save it for, bat, um, for evil eggnog, dude. All right, um, but the thing is, I didn't realize how much affinity people had for Gremlins as a Christmas movie until this whole thing. Yeah. I would have never put I, that together yeah. until this happened this week. And I was like, fucking A, and people love Gremlins, Gremlins as a Christmas movie. Yeah, it Crazy. won by such overwhelming odds that it, it, like, I could see like, it. I feel like it should final. be on my Christmas watch list now. Is that yeah. on Netflix? I only know one person that would even maybe know that. Hugo, is, is Gremlins on Netflix? No. no. It's not. I don't know. Wow. So. See, uh, yeah, it this... is. Yeah, it is. Yes, yes it is. I he called it you is a liar. It? Right I now? I think liar Gremlins, right in your one, face. Gremlins 1 and 2, I think, are, are currently think on. Wow. Two, I'm, I'm going to go sure. with Hugo here, everybody. All right, I, everybody, I get to watched, Twitter. <laughs> I literally just watched it on, on Netflix, so that's why I'm saying yes, because I watched it this oh. week. I own it, so I never looked on Netflix for it. So I would trust him if he says he's watched it. Yeah, I literally. Okay. Well, here's here's the other thing. A lot of people are also now saying uh, Lethal Weapon. Uh, All right. Anyway, and that's not. There's a lot of things. Okay. Well, we can opt in Lethal Weapon if we so feel. But the next round, you don't get to look. (laughs) Uh, Round four. And this is the final round. We'll decide. We'll decide right now here if Lethal Weapon should replace one of these four. This the four the, of us will decide. This is the final regular round before the championship round. Okay. Okay? So, it is Xmas Leftovers. And that's this final yeah, round. Yeah, Lethal Weapon should probably replace that. <laughs> yeah, I immediately thought, like, <laughs> all right, Lethal Weapon's a better movie than that. Uh, Go ahead, next. Number one, Die Hard. Number two, Elf. Number three, Home Alone. Mm. Number four, Love Actually. And that's the one I think if you're going to replace if it. If you're going to replace a movie. Love Actually would... is the one you think should be replaced Holy by shit, Lethal Trigger Weapon. Holy shit, Look, the lady Are you fucking me. me right now, dude? <laughs> Are you fucking with me right now, dude? <laughs> fucking Alan Rickman, but dude. I... No, let me listen to the actors. Fucking Alan Rickman, look, dude. Look, Laura Alan Lennon, Rickman. Dude. No, I'm going to fucking say them all. <laughs> fucking Andrew Lincoln, my man. <laughs> fucking Rowan Atkinson, my dude. Fucking Colin Emma Firth. Thompson, my bro. Colin Firth, my homie. <laughs> fucking Hugh Grant, my broski. Do I do I need to say more? Wow, you had to come up with five actors and five different ways to say bro. <laughs> that's good. That's that's good. That's but like I wa- I do watch Love Actually every year. Every year. <laughs> this is tough, man. If I you don't watch Lethal. I don't up, watch Lethal Weapon. No. I can't that, make a call on this. Believe it or not, I've not seen either Love Actually or Lethal Weapon. Whoa! Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Holy shit, everybody! I know. Fucking unpopular Fucking culture. Rickman, dude. Unpopular Fucking culture Lord exposed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Unpopular culture exposed. Somebody make a, Neeson, Somebody turn man. that into a Twitter video so we can retweet it throughout the skeptosphere. <laughs> I don't like Mel Gibson. Whoa! Sorry. Oh, I don't like oh God. <laughs> I don't like Mel Gibson either. All right, look, as a human being, I feel like What he about failed. Mad Max? He's just the worst. But I do like exactly. I like Mad Max, the but only... let's be fair, there's not a lot of acting that Max does in Mad Max. A this lot is... of it is him being like just walking around looking at stuff. <laughs> Actually, you're right. You're right. I feel like Lord Humongous did more acting yeah. in in uh the walk, Road Warrior. Walk away. Yeah. Just walk away. Just walk away. Oh, and they carried that tradition in the Tom Hardy one, too. Well, yeah, they didn't let Tom Hardy say shit. No. Like, well, That's why I was surprised it was even... Yeah, that that theory, theory. and I love Tom Hardy. Yeah. But like, yeah, it they been didn't Furiosa's expect him to do it. That's what the movie was. Okay. With also Tom Hardy. So, so do you think we, you think we should leave Love Actually yeah, in? Yeah, absolutely. 
Okay. Love actually stays in. What do you think? Uh, you haven't seen either one. Seen either he's, he's I haven't out. seen either of those. I, I don't yeah, know. Has no All right, for me then. All right, then uh, it comes down to me and you. He's in for Love Actually instead of uh, what are you in Lethal for? Weapon. I'm in for Lethal Weapon. You're a Love fucking, Actually. You're a dirty bitch. All right, so. I'm overruled. Tweet goes out now. Wow. Round Sweet four. Out. We also got a couple super chats. Uh, Brain Simple says uh, Jester is a 63 year old woman, followed by Tanuki saying it's amazing. Jester outgayed PTW. Feels good, man. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, bros, for those. Hey, thanks for being here you and taking what? some of the gay heat and off the, of the, us. The saddest thing is you guys only spent two dollars to talk to me. You fucking assholes. <laughs> You're dropping <laughs> ten bombs and five notes to make these clowns feel like idiots, but you only dropped two, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, <laughs> we'll take it. We'll I'm take glad it. that Love actually we'll got in, it. though. I'm glad that Love actually got in. <sighs> All right, man. This is a uh, this is a no brainer for me. Well, we've so, already had this discussion. That was we've a- already had this discussion, and I feel like there's one movie that runs away with it no matter what's there. All right, Jester, what's your vote? Um, I want to I wanna ask a specific question. It, are we? Is this our favorite Christmas movie, or is this best Christmas We're, movie? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've because been I voting this answers. on my favorite, because I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go let me tell you favorite. something about my opinions. What, I, what my favorite opinions are what I consider my truth. Well, the thing is, so far, all the rounds include, pr- most of them include movies I watch every Christmas. Yeah. So yeah. You I'm, have an aggressive movie watching schedule. I have a December. wife, asshole. Maybe. Just <laughs> now, like, just now, you just made the wife. The thing about I know about you is I lived with you for years. Yeah. More than you've lived with your wife. That well, doesn't that's help not, that's the that's that's heterosexual thing, does it? No, oh, shh. It's okay. No, it's okay. Come here. You're adorable. Look at your eyes. They're beautiful. Your eyes look so shiny. <laughs> you can see me. Yeah, you guys were here. I literally did that for like In your eyes. In your eyes. Mm-mm-mm. All right. See? See? This is what you don't get over on Hugo and Jake. You don't get singing. I had to stop singing because I didn't want us to lose monetization because it was so accurate. You know what you also don't get? You don't also don't get like fits where one people says, Put a dick in your ass uh, for eight minutes. Yeah, that happens a lot here. <laughs> it does happen a lot here. I feel like they genuinely like one another all right, over did, at Hugo and Jake. Did did we? Want it's all, all facade, Look, we, I assure you. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a, a quick break because man, we had um, this is something I told everybody. Like before we started the stream, right, literally seconds before the stream started, one of our one of our subscribers drove from Nashville, Tennessee today. And uh, his he's, his name is Buzz the Hive. He has a YouTube channel. He also has a, uh, oh, a shit, Twitter. Oh shit, that was Buzz the Hive. That was yeah, Buzz the nice. Hive. Buzz. He nice. showed up, that's why the dogs were barking and everything, because there were strangers in the house right as we went live. And, um, and that caused everything to crash. Us, he brought us, uh, I want to start with this. This is a bottle he found, which he etched. With the, our he logo. He etched with our, the, our little skull with the star in his forehead. He etched this bottle and then filled it with George Washington whiskey, which is a recipe from, a, I mean, rumored to be from George Washington himself. Um, he created, he gave us multiple bottles, dropped them off. He showed up with his family, his wife and his two daughters. And uh, awesome. and then he made us some drinking glasses. There's three of them. He, uh, he brought one for Jester. Wow. Uh, which is our skulls with a little star that we put in our in the forehead of all our skulls. Um, so delicious. Because we're like edgy and we think we're stars. And communism. <laughs> we think we belong <laughs> talking with Hugo. Um, and um, he also brought us each a gift, uh, which we're going to open right now. And the thing is, he drove all the way from Nashville. Uh, I gave him the address because nah, you trust, you, you... I've got a rape whistle. Yeah, that'll fix it. And I will <laughs> blow him or it. I, I don't know how to use you're a rape whistle. I think, you, I think you only know the difference between a, a quieter rape and a louder rape now. Look, I'm like, hey! Anyway, surprise we'll rape. Rape. I have a rape whistle bit, actually, I've been working on. I'll tell su- you about later. I've been saying surprise rape for a very long time, and I don't think you have to shout surprise no, before you rape. No, they go together. And, um, like, that's part of the thing. <laughs> like, the surprise comes, like, included. But, uh... But, and so he did this, and the thing is, since the dogs were barking during our stream, they packed up what, during the crash. I, uh, I, we were running around here, everybody's cursing at one another. Hugo's sitting patiently, because he's the only one who didn't crash. 
Um, <laughs> and uh, we're running around, we're screaming, we're being super cool under pressure as we do. And uh, since that, he's like, man, we're going to go ahead and leave because I feel like we're triggering the dogs and we and all this. And so he's driving back to Nashville right now. Wait, he left to go drive all the way back to Nashville? Yes, he did. And the last, the only words he heard you speak were, Faye, get your fucking ass back down here! I didn't say fucking. <laughs> I did not say fucking. I made very sure. I did not say fucking. So anyway, they brought us these things, and I just want to say, man, that was very fucking cool. Yeah. Um, he yes. was a cool guy. I got to meet. I got to meet his family, and they were really cool. They sat on my couch. I, I turned on the cable television for him. I don't know if they have that in the Nashville, Tennessee. But like, there's the cable TV. It's the silver remote. You press the up and the down. <laughs> why are you I don't Bill know why I start getting Bill, a little Country Cosby. No, Bill, I do that. It's Country Cosby. Country Cosby. Like, like, would you like some pudding? It's a country. It's a good chicken coop. Nah, um, <laughs> uh, uh, let me do one. Oh, uh, ripe. Right, guys? Am I right? <laughs> so, Bill, perfect Bill Cosby. I know what this is. Do you know what this is? It's do a, you know what it is? It's a bowl koozie. It is a bowl koozie. A microwave bowl koozie with Christmas stuff on it. It's immersive, <laughs> so that Hugo would like it. Well, mine has game on my side, because I'm House of Wolves. Am I right, guys? Why do you get, you get Yeah, I got Thrones? Game of Thrones. You I get like Game of Thrones more than you. I don't watch Game anyway, of Thrones. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, um, so I want to just say, um, anytime awesome. one of you guys wants to drive and bring oh. us gifts, and then, like, <laughs> leave without really getting to hang out, please. Stop, stop by. Hang Feel free. Fine. It's fine. Hit me but up and slide in my was, DMs. That was super fucking really cool. Really cool. And the fact that he got one for me, too, just because I hang out with you dickheads, was really fucking nice. Yeah, man. He's... That was really nice, man. That was really fucking cool. They drove four hours. It's three and a half. It is three and a half, but apparently he's on the other side of the Nashville. It's four hours. He drove four wow. hours here, and then he apologized because he's, he's like, I screwed up my timing. I meant to be here before you guys ever started the stream. So that we could chat a little bit, but he's like, I don't want to. And I tried to say, why don't you stay and hang out, and then we'll we'll have a beer afterwards or something. But no, he didn't want to bother him and his family. Packed back up, and they uh, they put Granny on the fucking rocking chair on the top of the truck. <laughs> I don't know much about Nashville, everybody. I like how you're gonna throw insults at him, <laughs> like insult bombs on his way. Back. I Jesus can't Christ. be sincere. I just can't fucking do it. <laughs> but anyway, um, that was very cool. So thank you very much, Buzz yeah, the Hive. Buzz Everybody the Hive. go subscribe and follow him on Twitter. Follow him the twatters. He's yeah. a really super, super fucking nice guy. Yeah. And it was a really cool thing to do. And thank you for, for, the, for the no rape. Yeah, thanks for, <laughs> for raping us. <laughs> Uh, it's Jester nice that you thank him for that. It, it makes sure in it's the future work. other people who come to your house also don't rape you because they'll expect, you know, oh, if I don't, oh, well, I'll say you thanks. You can't so. see the front door of the house. On the inside of the front door as you're leaving, it says, thank you for the no rape. <laughs> we had it etched. Positive reinforcement. Into like a piece of wood. It's real nice, like, gray. Very classy. Yep. You got to teach the ladies to keep their... The rape to themselves? <laughs> the rape to themselves. Well, <laughs> well we, we did it. That's where it was. I, 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 that was where the line was, and we're like, ah, fuck it. Demonetization. Go for it. Don't worry about it. Um, the winners will make were a you video not pre-demonetized? Uh, we were demonetized before this thing ever okay, went yeah. live. Mm -hmm. Every one of our streams. Like, like, before we hit the live, it goes, bing, yellow, go, yellow yes. button. Not you guys. Mm -mm. So not no again. Way. You're not fooling us. Fool us once. Hey, right. You get drunk so, every live stream. So anyway, okay, anyway. Here's a question. And this is something I, I would think about. Are there, and Hugo, are there any movies that you watch around Christmas that are not traditionally Christmas movies, but for some reason it's just you have this in, uh, need to watch them every Christmas? Because one of the things I've got was a lot of people were saying Harry Potters. That they watch a lot of Harry yeah, Potter. Yeah, I do. They go to their Harry Potter marathons during Christmas. I only watch the first, like, two, though, because, I, I don't know, they just feel more Christmassy. Apparently there's a Christmas moment in them or something. Or... In, like, the first one, I know for a fact there's a scene at Christmas where they get, like, presents and stuff. But it's, yeah. like, one scene. Yeah, I but think then people there's a, start it's the... not a Christmas and movie. No, I'm not like, saying no, that it, it is a Christmas movie. It's not movie. a Christmas movie, but yeah. I said one of those movies that you just kind of get that, like... Inkling to watch during Christmas. Because sometimes you. Turn I, have, I, mine, have, a, I have a bit about that. Mine is is uh, Empire Strikes Back. I and I think it's yeah. because of Hoth. Yeah. And and also because it came out this summer, I remember that because I went to but it. But all the release came dates. Out in theaters. All yeah, the release man. dates uh, right now for Star Wars are always in December now, and mm -hmm. they're they're the Star Wars push <coughs> for Christmas ornaments and just decorations. Because I have a, a Yoda and a, and a Darth Vader right now in my front yard that light up 
So it's like I, I decorate with Star Wars on, on, on Christmas. So I watch Empire Strikes Back every year. I mean, I watch it during Christmas too, but I literally watch a Star Wars movie every couple of weeks. So it's not. I, can't, I, can't <laughs> I also say, watch it during spring break. <laughs> yeah, I can't say like yeah, it's a Star Wars thing because I I literally watch a Star Wars movie at least every other week, like always, or the TV show, the Clone Wars TV show. Since we're talking about Star Wars, have any of you guys seen the Star Wars Christmas special and sat through the whole the thing? Holiday? Yes! It was the first introduction of Boba Fett, dude. Of course I've seen it. What? But Chewie's whole family's there. Yeah, what I, oh, love, God. what I love is tiny little hairy baby. Yeah. He stole the show. Stole the show. Oh, what a... What a Lumpy. His name is Lumpy. Lumpy, that's it. Why do I remember... I remember things sometimes that I'm disappointed I remember. I remember the name of Chewbacca's kid in the Star Wars Holiday Special. I should not be alive See, as I'm a functioning a, person. I'm more a Wampa fan. Like, that was, that's my favorite. In terms of and just general Star Wars creature? General, or like, general okay. Star Wars. I was about to say, like, Christmas-themed creature, because I was like, yeah, totally, the Wampa would be Christmas. Well, he would be the Christmas, because yeah. he's on Hoth. But the Wampa, to me, I think I love him the best. Not only does he just look strangely cuddly... I have a Wampa hat and stuff, and I want to get that Wampa skin rug they made. That I found it somewhere. It was like on eBay or something. A Wampa skin rug that I can lay out every Christmas in front of the fireplace. But the whole purpose of that character was so they could hide Mark Hamill's scar he had on his face. He yeah, got he got an actual car accident. Got a, an actual yeah. car accident. I don't know if it was, had anything to do with Corvette Summer. That that bomb. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's how it happened. That's what you're blaming. Yeah. Like you blame it. All right, go ahead. A lot so, of blame could be put on Corvette Summer. But I, love I don't Corvette know if the scar <laughs> on his face can be put on. He it. got he got pistol whipped by like. I don't know what. Uh, like I remember during that time he got divorced. Was that because of Corvette Summer? Yeah, probably. Probably. This is good. <laughs> probably Corvette Summer. But he had the scar on his face, so they had to make a scene at the very beginning of the movie before you really get to see him. Yeah. Where he gets clobbered or something, just to justify why he has a bandage on his face for the rest of the shooting. Yeah. They actually, that, that ties into the Star Wars Christmas special too, because if you guys remember from that, Mark Hamill looks fucking weird in it. He looks very... Like he, yeah. It's it just, because, I thought it was really good prosthetics when I first saw it. I was like, wow, they did real, <laughs> makeup back then was good. The thing is, I was watch, when I was watching uh, the Christmas special, the first time I, I heard about it and started trying to watch it, it was like a fever dream. I could not understand. It was like it kept changing. Like it, it was. Changed. It did seem like a fever dream. It kept dream. changing. Like, and I was like, what the fuck It was is super this? weird. But you have to remember the time when it was released. Back during my fervent masturbation days. <laughs> like, couldn't stop. Even to watch the whole Star Wars. Like, <laughs> as soon as Prince Le Princess Leia showed up, which granted was at the end. Pause the VCR. Fap. I have to fap. Until my back hurts. Um, oh. I don't think you're doing it right. <laughs> no. What no, I was. And I'll explain. Wait, I, that's another story about the wait, time I hurt my back masturbating. Are you doing the, the, the fapping where you lay on your back, put your feet on nope, the wall, it was and at walk the your time, feet down to your dick's in your mouth? No, this is all. No, let's not get into this. First of all, I mean, I don't know. First of all, we allowed me to be sincere for like eight minutes, which is like the longest string in my life. Um, and we never really went through who all our votes were in this round, even though this round is a pummeling. Oh, it's, yeah, the, it's, it's well, we knew that. And you I guys, want to read, I want to read though, so to make beforehand. you feel better. A bitching witch on Twitter said, how the fuck am I supposed to pick between these? Fuck you, Pat. You're evil. <laughs> um, I know. Agreed. That, I feel like at least two of those movies should be in the final round. And then there's other people going, fuck him, where's Die Hard and everything. There's actually people here who are participating in the polls on Twitter that are not watching this stream. <laughs> They're just Whoa. getting triggered on Twitter. <laughs> like, fuck That's this. That's funny. So anyway, what did you vote for? Zach? Um, I, I, I love them both equally, but I wanted to give love to Love Actually. But because th I that knew was last round. I knew, yeah. yeah. Love Actually is this round. No, Love oh, Actually wait. is this oh, round, that is along this with round. Die Hard. Even though I like Die Hard and Love Actually, right. both, I would probably say that I prefer no, Die that. Hard, oh, yeah, but I is. wanted to show some love for Love Actually, because I knew, Cause you knew, I knew Die Hard was going to... Because you guys had juiced it up so much, and there was no way that you're... Here's, here, here's the thing. I had the argument with uh, the Britisher online because of Die Hard. And I posted something about, like, is Die Hard an actual Christmas movie, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, all British, he like... No, the Die Hard is not an actual Christmas movie. <laughs> Wait, is that your is that your British? That's the best. You haven't British even seen Love Actually. You don't even know how they talk. 
<laughs> You're right. You You're know, right. I gotta you don't get know the Britisher. That's how he talked. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, so, all right. So, so we had the we had the argument. And what about you, Hugo? What about, look? I, what are, I want to confirm all these votes. We know we voted lo love. Actually, what did Hugo? Hugo, come on. What were the options again this round? We've been talking about other we shit so long. I, shit I told, so I forgot. Long. We were in the Star Wars Christmas special. Wait, Elf, Home Alone, Love Actually, and Die Hard. Okay, I got to go Home Alone. See, I, I like Home Alone a lot, and I honestly, which is weird, because only a few years ago that I actually started saying, oh, Home Alone is it is a Christmas movie. Oh, it's a super Christmas movie. But like, for years, like, I, I love- The most Christmas movie. I loved, <laughs> I love it. I love that movie. When it came out, I watched it. I was, I think, fifth grade. I watched it all the time in fifth grade. It used to- Listen, because one of our friends on the bus in elementary school recorded it and, like, recorded just the audio. And we what? would just... How, did you, how would you even do that? Like, a cassette? Like, got yeah, a tape a cassette. recorder? Yeah, held, 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 it held it up to the micro, microphone, up to the thing. Get recorded the, the whole movie. So we here. would just sit on the bus and listen to the movie. And we're like, I love this part. We, like, I watched the movie like crazy. But it wasn't until, like, in the last five years, maybe... That I started going, yeah, I guess it is a Christmas movie. Like I never watched it on Christmas. I didn't make it. A, I, I didn't make the connection, even though it's Christmassy as fuck. I just never made. It didn't, some of it the some of the traps involve uh, Christmas ornaments and stuff. Even yeah. yes, I look. I felt stupid for suddenly having that epiphany, but it was one of those things where it was like, you know, what? it never trended upward for me. I love the movie. I I'm a huge Macaulay fan, so. <laughs> Why? But for some reason, I just yeah, did you're not. A lonely group there, bud. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think Macaulay Culkin is in the group of ever fans since, of Macaulay ever, Culkin. Yeah, ever since he let that bitch get fucking stung to death by bees, I think uh, yeah. my girl, <laughs> whoever's girl it was, I don't know. He was a pretty bitch in Page Master, though. I will give him that. I and 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 I. What about I the just, good son? I just look at. I'm saying he has so many good movies. I, I celebrate his entire collection. <laughs> um, the, uh, the thing is, I was just looking at the stream and I realized that you haven't been wearing your beard. You're just like the hairy chest. I've never, I've never worn the beard. Ever. You're the hairiest chest Santa I've since ever. I've, since I've done the bad Santa, I've done it for years. We, every time we did nightclub promotions, I would go out as bad Santa. That's true. And get wasted face. I never wore it. I just used to yeah, hang it. The bad uh, Santa bender, the thing that's been on all three of these streams that we've posted in the last couple hours. Um... That actually was a party we threw regularly, the All Naughty Zero Nice Bad Santa Binner. That was our Christmas party that hundreds of people, I'm sure, miss. Um, anyway, all right, so anyway, the results are in. The results are in. Pat, you want to go ahead and announce everything? Uh, you don't need to. We yeah, all I was about know. to say, what are we going to be sh what are we shocked? Jester, announce it. Or can you announce Can someone announce it? Do I, yeah, yeah, I got Die it. Hard won with an overwhelming 60%. And the I biggest have win. A feeling, I have a feeling that in the finals, I know, I know who's going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Home Alone came in at 17, a respectable 17. Elf and Love Actually are tied for 11. Gotta say, this is a That was with 70 votes. For 70 shame. votes in. The, huh? the strongest for round. Shame. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people just, just came in just for the diehard vote. So that yeah. means that means we go to the finals, correct? That was all four heats, and now we're in the final round. And this can is we, mm, Can we make a loser's bracket? No. I think we should make a loser's bracket. No, there are no losers in Christmas. What? There are That's tons not the of losers of Christmas. in Christmas. Losers don't get to... I want to make Did a loser's bracket. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Hashtag loser's bracket. I'm just right, look, this I feel like that kind of negates the purpose of a tournament, but okay. <laughs> they, exactly. always have, they always have a chance to redeem themselves, because you know what? We didn't get as many votes for the first you know thing, these, so you, they might have just not... They, they're Now they're caught up, and they might vote in the... In the this in the, guy. You know how these fancy football nerds are. Nah, dude. Go. They gotta have count. a loser's nah, bracket, so they feel that. like they didn't waste their whole fucking three months so that they could lose <laughs> fancy football. Um, you're getting the sack of reward tonight, buddy. Uh, All right. Here we go. Read us the final championship bracket. Best Christmas movie championship round is Die Hard, Gremlins, Nightmare Before Christmas, and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's a sham that Gremlins You've is on You've got 20 list. minutes on this round, <laughs> so start campaigning to get your friends to vote it's if you want your movie to an win. an absolute farce that Gremlins can stand next to these this amazing cinematic adventures. All right, I'm going to go set up for... Um, Evil Eggnog. Evil Eggnog, which is a game 
that these I will guys explain the game did. while you're while you're preparing. I will explain the game clear to everyone. Clear this area though. I will clear this area. We will move the laptop this time. So so that this the buttons don't get even stickier. I don't even know how that how that would happen. But first first I want to I want to vote here. Because I am, this is a tough round. Even though I feel like there were some people that should be in this, there's some movies in this final, that should be in this final round that didn't make it. Absolutely. What what would be, if you had one vote on one that didn't make it that could be in it, what would it be? Well, now that you called me out, I can't think of one. Yeah, it's because <laughs> it's love, actually. It's because it's love, actually. <laughs> Alright, so it. anyway, Hugo, Hugo, out of these four, what what's your best movie of these four? Oh my god. Best movie or best Christmas movie? I know we're obviously we're talking about Christmas oh, okay. movies, but Christmas one of the movie. exact Christmas criteria. Movie. Christmas movie is the thing. That is okay. still what we're trying to figure out. Not just movie in general. Um Christmas movie. Then I gotta go how the Grinch stole Christmas, because as much as I love Die Hard and I would agree it's a Christmas movie, and Gremlins, same thing same with nightmare before christmas i think how the grinch stole christmas not only immerses you in the feeling of the holiday it has a message that coincides with that holiday it does have a message uh i gotta show it absolutely has a message too that's terrorists never win and we also don't negotiate with them and also uh clearly the superior candy bar is crunch because the uh the guy that knows kung fu picked it That's, those are fucking. Those are clear life lessons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so no, but and also, if you save, if you if you save a group full of uh, of of elite white people, then your wife will fuck you again. That's I also learned that life lesson. All right, now that was a lesson that I felt came across kind of lame. I was married to my first wife at the time. Yeah, and I could have saved a hundred Nakatomi plazas. And made it on a hundred LA news broadcasts. <laughs> and she was not going to give me another blow job if my dick was made of Christmas. I don't think well, Holly Gennaro is not the blowjob giving type. You look at that <laughs> you look at that cold bitch's face anyway, dude. That's that's a woman that is a hundred percent missionary all day, every day. <laughs> And actually, she'll she'll gave a blower once on the birthday kind of thing. I feel like okay, we were right? way off of the fucking way out there right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault. But I disagree. <laughs> I think that Die Hard has plenty of lessons to learn, and some that are Christmas oriented as well. Of course, Die Hard has lessons. But I'm just saying, if we're talking about which one is the most Christmassy, Die Hard is is not the most Christmassy of the group. I would argue that well, it is Christmassy. Christmas I get it. He has a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And not to mention that it's it's in a it's based in a real world with with actual Christmas, whereas this like Whoville shenanigans. You know, <laughs> so it's not even like a real <laughs> Christmas. Wait, we, do so we have to start fucking, talking about reality now? Because John McClane <laughs> took down a group of like elite international terrorists headed <laughs> by aliens. Fucking Rickman. Ugly and and eclectic Without too. They Jews. had Americans. They had they had Chinese. They had Germans, dude. It was it was a really well organized. It team. was a VIP team. And, I'm just uh, saying, if we're bringing reality into this, and which one's better? I don't think Die Hard wins either because they had the fucking dad from Family Matters be the sidekick in that. God, team. that is my number one hangup. Is I have a hard time not seeing him as like. As like grounding Urkel, you know what well, I mean? He's like a cop in that show too, so it's like, what? Oh, just shit. have Urkel go in and he'll accidentally kill all the terrorists, yeah, which like, is a movie I want to see, by the way. Coming over for Christmas dinner? God, oh god damn it! No, did you cheer? What are you? Cheers, hmm. Mr. Christmas. So, <laughs> all right, so uh, you know what I. I said I was going to die hard all the way through this, but wow. Hugo, Hugo, Hugo's right. Hugo's fucking right. Oh, great. Internet. Watch the polls turn now. All right, unsubscribe, unsubscribe, fuck. everybody, because here I go. Um, Literally right after you said that, die hard took a dive. What the fuck? Uh, Woo! This fucking fame culture. <laughs> it's bullshit. Okay, everybody. Outrage culture. To impress Papa Fame. Papa Fame, be my friend. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Whatever, you're just mad. No one like love, actually.
Um, yeah. I am still mad about Love Actually. You're right. I'm going to have to go. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with How the Grinch Stole Christmas because of that impassioned appeal. Because of lies. Um, no, no. Because of false. No, because yes. because first of all, I, there are there are a couple things on this channel that we always talk about. One of those things is Worthington's Law. Which is written by okay. the mythical Mr. Worthington, which says more subscribers equals better than. And because of that, Wasn't I'm that going exact? to defer to Hugo, who has over 10 times more subscribers than me and must be right. Is it too late to change your leg? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about the rules. <laughs> Shit. This, this one's is... never gonna grow. <laughs> we also, real quick, got a uh, got a twofer from Brain uh, from Artie. It says uh, Die Hard will win, and we've all been raped by Christmas, and I can agree with that sentiment. We've all been raped we've by all Christmas. We've absolutely been raped by Christmas. Um, and uh, yeah, look, Die Hard is going to win this. Yeah, but um, it, it my vote, took a dive after my vote you was too. at best a protest vote. It um, did take a dive though after you two. I it, like it actually did. It was it was walloping, and now it's at only at four. I mean only at, but it's it's at forty four percent. Only at forty four percent. It's not winning by the by the sixty percent it came out of the first round in. Um, Hold and, uh, real quick, someone in the chat said something I gotta address because they're fucking wrong. <laughs> they said Die Hard is only a Christmas movie because it happens to take place on Christmas. Okay, wrong. it's a movie. Nothing happens to take place at any time. A person yeah, it wrote it with an intention. <laughs> like, <laughs> like they, they wrote it. They couldn't afford the reasons. budget to take down the trees at the fucking at the place that they were at. No, that was yeah, that was intentional. They put those up. Yeah, they're thematic and there's reasons. <laughs> the wrong person. This isn't my <laughs> channel, so I can abuse the and people also, in the one comments. Of the biggest, free. One of the free, biggest bad us. guys was a ballerina, and that's that shit's Christmassy AF, dude. Ballerinas are Christmassy. That's that's facts. That is true. That's why that's the whole thing behind the Nutcracker Suite. Yep. Um, also <laughs> cracking nuts. Shoot the glass. <laughs> so the thing, oh, is, boy. the thing is, the thing is, actually, I think it's a victory <laughs> yeah. for for Christmas movies in general if Die Hard is held under forty percent. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it should win by that big of a margin. I do agree with that. It should. This should be this close. That's, like that's crazy. Only like, one movie should win by forty percent. Well, actually, no, two movies. Either Love Actually or any movie with Bill Murray in it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can all agree. That any movie with Bill Murray. Best Christmas movie? I don't know. Groundhog's Day. That's fine. That'll work. Best Christmas movie? I don't know. Ghostbusters would be fine. Does it have Bill Murray in it? Oh, then it's, then it's good. It, it applies to every category how ever. About, how about Zombieland? Oh yeah, it applies. Bill Murray. Yeah, Bill Murray makes an appearance in that. Yep. <laughs> so he does. Actually, Bill Murray Garfield, has a, Christmas a tale special. of two Actually, kitties. Actually, he killed. Hold on. Hold on. Pat's like wanting me to. He said, put the computer, put up, the on computer the box. up on the box. All right, everybody. Look, this is a special thing that no one has ever seen outside of our small friend group. This is actually something. Oh, man, look what happened. I, I didn't break it, dude. Did we unplug, unplug it, it? Unplug it. Plug it back in. I think that was the secret we learned. Come on, baby. I can't sit here and hold this. <laughs> Come on. Man, that is not a flattery angle of either of us either. It is not. Like, if it was going to freeze on a certain certain like, screenshot. Not, like, not you're so staring much. at my wrist. Like, you've seen my bracelets before, Already donated right? another two and said, hashtag Hugo Salts. <laughs> was he really getting the... I'm not yep, like he was Hugo, big... Hugo's the salty one here. That's what, that's what this is about. I felt like he was fair. He was fair. I, th actually, I mean, wrong, He but made fair. a compelling <laughs> argument... That changed my mind. It it actually which did. does not happen a lot. Fane is is one of those like set in his ways kind of dudes. Yeah, yeah. So that I, is was to to vote, I was going to vote. I was going to vote Die Hard because of my butt hurt. I was going to vote for it all the way through. <laughs> well, that's. I think that's the thing so people do, though, is because they so strongly want to defend that Die Hard is a Christmas film, they feel the need to say it's the it's best, the Christmas, best film. Christmas film. That's exactly right. It's like, it's like the same reason, like you think that uh, that you want a conservative to be president, therefore Trump is the greatest president. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> dude, now I'm already triggered, dude. Oh, I'm already triggered about it. Fuck. All right, look. 
Look, the camera's fucking up here, Pat. I think maybe delete it and then unplug it. Okay, you're right. You're yeah. right. We, that's what we did last delete time. Delete right? it, delete it, and then and then unplug it. All right, now then... you unplug it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a, a couple seconds. All right. Man, we're gonna have to work this. I'm gonna shit out, do it like a yeah, Nintendo. I don't know why it's that <laughs> because because this production level is like what I feel like separates us. From the boys. And from I want the you guys to know notice. What doing. <laughs> I want you guys to notice how I haven't said anything, and yet any small thing that happens on my channel. Fane blasts me about it. Oh yeah, we like to blast. And I'm like, ass. I'm like, yeah, dude, shit happens, bro. It's it's unfortunate, but shit happens. Damn. Was Damn, that is that. that is fucking. That is fucked there up another way to grab it? Grab a different way, like not stop grabbing it for that. Um, you know what we could do? We could switch the camera. You want to use my camera? No. Just the, we'll use the yeah, camera yeah. right on our laptop here, which is going to show the background and super upset you. It's going to take everybody out of the Christmas immersion that was our set. Um, <laughs> I think it might be still frozen because it's holding on to the other, the other scenes. Hold on. Image. Hold on. So what are you saying? Yeah, I think we we have Look, to delete. There's there's a scene of we, us we like might have, you're staring at my bracelet. We might have to delete Here's them from at all our the bracelet. scenes. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, look at how you're staring at my bracelet here. I'm just That's... saying we might have to delete it from all the scenes in order to get it to work. Hold on. What if we do this? What if we just? Yeah. Man, delete. this is really fucked up. <laughs> What's happening here? Delete. Can um, you, do you I'm mind gonna, just gonna... deleting the other scenes? Mm, oh yeah, I mind that a lot. Okay, well then just delete the video from the other scenes because I, I think it's holding on to that. I'm thing. gonna try. I'm gonna try a whole new I video capture device. There this? we go. I got it. It actually is not. That I got bad, it, nerds. But, yeah, the one from the. Uh, Woo! <clears throat> All right, man, Hugo. You know what? What the one? The one saving grace we have by Hugh, having Hugo on here. Who's from a channel that we've been watching before we ever started YouTube's. making videos. Uh, the one saving grace we've got with Hugo being here is that, thank God he's not Jake. I feel like Jake would be meaner. You know what I mean? Oh, like Jake, Jake. Oh, yeah. Mm, and and yeah. Also, also, Jake is like, Jake's, Jake said nice things about us before anybody knew who we were. And he, he, you guys, I know that he actually, and he told me this, that's how I know it, is a fact. As he told me that he had to talk you into having us on the last Christmas special that you guys, the benefit that you did last December. Because everybody else was over 100,000 subscribers. Mundane Matt. Stand up. Amazing Atheist. The, um, oh, wait. Cracious Cat didn't. Oh, holy shit. These are the shots, everybody. Oh, God. I'm going to go uh, free throw up real quick. <laughs> Just go, try, try using two fingers. That helps you throw up faster. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, but Jake told us that, uh, Stand up without knocking all this over. Okay, you're gonna raise the camera? Hey, everybody, look at my wiener. Look at my wiener. Look at my belly. Look at my, look at my shirt. Oh, you need to go higher, dude. Hey, everybody. It's me and Gingerbread Man. Is it, or is it right? I mean, it's right enough for me, baby. Look at that, look at that. Uh, hey, when I said don't knock over me, take our oh. headset. <laughs> no, I'm not taking off the headset. Um, all right, so anyway, anyway, uh, Jake said that he said that you should have poison the well on, and that you said, "Who?" <laughs> I probably did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did think I, he, it, it sounded sincere when he said that, but it did sound like he was telling the truth. And before we get in these shots, I'm going to go ahead and drink this sh this like, shot of. Can you pour some for me? Uh, fine. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Let's drink. Uh, this is everybody. What we're drinking here is. Uh, is the uh, Sugarland Shine root beer moonshine? It's uh, it's a seventy proof, and oh. uh, it tastes just like root beer. Like like if root beer kicked you in the mouth and like fucked your fucked your wife. That's what this tastes like. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgive you, root beer. Oh. She was a bitch anyway. <laughs> All right, so what we have here, um, and you can't see this, but, and I can't tilt it towards you because this is the only baking pan I have, and it's already messy enough. Just put it there down. are all of these shot glasses have eggnog. Oh, now, God. what I want you to do is, I want you to do is because, I mean, I already shuffled them. You already shuffled and them I, up. They're I all don't mixed know. up. Tell them what all these things consist of. You just bake this fucking cake for everybody. Hey, you I, gave me the fucking headphone extension because you care about me. No, I care about the shots, you dumb shit. Get out of the way. 
Anyway, stop. Never let go. How many of them are there? I Enough. never want to let go. Do we have to drink all of these? Yes. We're going to move these all around. You can just shove around. Just start picking them up, moving around, however you want. You can do it too. Just Who start. is squeaking that? Which one of you is squeaking that toy? It's center. It's in my butt. Anyway, there are five. Ow. There are. Sorry, I poked you. I poked you <laughs> with the sunglasses. They're real, they're real spikes, everybody. There are five shots of eggnog that have been watered down, so to speak, with moonshine. 100 proof moonshine? 100 proof. Five out of like the 100 proof 20? moonshine. Like now see, can you tell? You said that you there's would like be able 50, to tell. There's like 50 of them. Be able to tell what? Well, first off, that, which ones were the first dangerous off, ones? You're not, no, you're not gonna be able to, you're not be able to just stare at them. You you basically just need to look down. That's so just pick one up. Big though the shots are fucking. Don't look huge. don't look at them. Hold don't on. cheat. Stop don't talking. stare at them. The rest are full of just watered down eggnog. So you took a you took a shot of water. But there's only five. Instead of the hundred proof moon shot, which is hundred percent clear as water. Mm-hmm. I feel like there should be like eight or something. I don't know. That's a lot. No, there's That's five. Lot so there's no, we're going to drink a lot of eggnog. The because first, the vomiting doesn't happen unless okay. there's a lot of eggnog. The first two, oh, if you God. get if you, like you get one shot of evil eggnog, mm -hmm. you're not out yet. Mm -mm. No, I, w I wouldn't want to be. Where would I? I wouldn't even want to be. Trash cans right over there. Oh, we need to put a, a trash can liner. Hey, there's black. There's so trash can liners right over the there. Just bring trash can over here. All right, that's fine. We'll hose it out. Um, just bring the trash can. <laughs> just bring the trash can. <laughs> I'm just trying to find places so, where it doesn't have a bag. Yeah, look, Hugo, as much as you probably hated, uh, eggnog, put moonshine Holy in it. Holy shit, Sid. Sid. He's, he's like a, a, he's like a fucking magician. Was he like a Pez dispenser of those <laughs> fucking toys? <laughs> Same anyway, one. the fir if you get two shots of evil eggnog, you're out. Which, trust me, by that point, you want to be out. Yeah, you want to be out. Oh these my really god, shots, guys. this is like, going to be fantastic. These are gotta be a lot of mo these are full, like, three ounce And they're much glasses. bigger than regular shot glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're good. That's like, go ahead, you, yeah. can, move, you can move them around all you want. There's, there's yeah, no... we got to move them around because he poured them. Oh, he does probably know. But he probably. also probably saw the level. Hold on, hold on, watch this. Turn around, turn around. He probably saw the level. That's not smart enough. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the trust? Now they're mixed up. There's right. no, trust me. Right. I've been making Doesn't videos matter. I don't with him for want, years. I don't, I don't want you he cannot I figure I need, that I'm out. trying to move him. I need to move him. He I don't trust figure that out. He cannot. I just, that out. I, you know what? For my own thing, I turned I the like whole tray around. He I would like to move him anyway. Well, now he like knows. Anyway. If you please, just let me fucking move around. You guys talk amongst right, yourselves. Like he's an idiot. Like even if I did have a method. He's like, he just told me what his method was. I'm like, all I have to do is reverse the tray. Yeah, but I know you can't. I know your mind can't do that. Also, I'm a fair person. Hey, like, come on, come on, Hugo. You know Jake's limitations, right? Like, you've hung out with him so much over so many years that you know his limitations, right? To an extent, God, yeah. These are so big. <laughs> sure. Okay, right. then uh, that's the same thing. I know Patrick's limitations. And, like... Turning a tray of twenty something shot glasses of fucking. But I also, you should know that I wouldn't cheat. I do know I that you wouldn't cheat. I do you wouldn't cheat because are. part of you wants okay. to lose. Like part of you wants to be the puker because that would be cool. I know this. I do too. Okay, okay. I will say I feel like you need to <laughs> now, pick the shots while looking in your perifs because there's a very obvious indicator which one. Yeah, is don't which. look at. Them. So I just first, just you got look in your perifs because you can you see can, an indicator. Absolutely, that's why I was saying. You have dark glasses. Oh yes. We study. Everybody, put on my glasses. You know what? Put on my yeah, glasses. Yeah, actually, don't actually, get, yeah. Don't get two more pairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're right here, bro. Aren't that, they? That only ha no, I moved them over there. All right, how's this? Go get two pair of glasses off that desk. You now have to reach under this piece of paper, pull a shot glass out. <laughs> I, you, I don't know what you're talking to me. I couldn't tell any difference. He's now, gonna get you blinders. The like indicator, I, the audience will be able to see because the bottom of the evil eggnogs have Rudolph's nose on them. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, these will help. These will make you a, not, not those. <laughs> those are practically <laughs> see-through. Go back and get a real Wait, pair. No, these are fine. Dude. I the, totes can't that, see. That shelf yeah. back there, I have like eight pair with different spike configurations. Go, oh, go back there. Damn it! Right. Bitch. Those are the coolest ones, though. Yeah, they are pretty. Gucci, dude. Ooh. They're also like safety glasses. I don't know if you knew that. This, you can are, weld with them. These are cataract glasses for You can weld with them, yes. <laughs> wow, these are really heavy, dude. Jesus Christ. They're not like heavy! Like they're just like they're right. kind of pushing down. Jesus yeah, they're Christ. heavy. Those are real metal spikes. Ask, ask, uh, what's but his name? Uh, Andy Worski, whose ear I pierced at VidCon. All right. Hugo, are you going to VidCon this next year? 
I don't know, maybe. I'll ask Jake Dude, if Jake's going. Dude, you guys gotta going. go. You will fucking love it. And we would like to have some people who aren't already fucking tired of us being there. Oh, wait a second. He's been hanging out with us like two hours. <laughs> All right. Let's begin. You get to pick the first. I would love to go first, sir. Pick the first cup. Grab a round cup. I want cup. this one right here. The one I feel right here. Okay. And I'm going to trigger right in your face. Pick your pick your uh, random cup, uh, Jester. Mm. Always Was go that us supposed to drink yet? You always go for the far No! Corner. You're supposed to drink when we Mine's want. done. I thought we are supposed I'll to wait together, time. right? Yeah. No, you're supposed we to were, all shots But together. I couldn't wait to get that fucking right, sweet moonshine in me. Nobody be a dick and look too hard harshly. Do you guys hardly. will know because of the red. Alright. Nope. Alright. I'm clear. Good so, so far. Now all we did was set a base. Now right. there's something in here to vomit out. Yeah, now okay. Alright, you go <laughs> go go dig in the middle. Oh shit, I don't wanna like Okay. okay. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I've never been so glad to be on this side of a stream <laughs> and not last, by the way. Oh my All god. Right, Ready? Alright, cheers, yeah, cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna vomit all over your studio. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. I'm not a fucking bitch. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> but right. if I get another one, there's gonna be a problem. That was right. really, <laughs> that is really aggressive. You I don't know if you do that. Like, like the eggnog doesn't even fucking matter. You know what you taste? Fire, fire yeah. and sin. <laughs> like the sinning that, like the kind of sinning that Adam and Eve did. Like, 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 like where a bitch ruins everything for humanity. That kind of sinning. Grab. All right. Grab one random one. Oh, please be good. Please be oh, I'll suck my finger in another one. So what do you get to drink the tip of my finger? <laughs> oh shit, cheers. This is gross. Mm. Oh, that was really good. Now, now it's just watery eggnog, it's fine. I needed that just to wash <laughs> I, the I fucking like, taste of like, Satan's even, cock out of my mouth. I don't like eggnog, this is the problem. but I think watered down eggnog when, is actually not bad. When, I'm not gonna say if, but when we meet Hugo I think we got a super in chat. person, we, we are gonna meet them. Even if yep. we have to go to fucking Dandy Fuck fucking Michigan or whatever yeah. the fuck they are. I, I imagine y'all live in a city called Dandy Fuck. Like, <laughs> like, don't you? Like, I mean, doesn't Spot everybody? On. All right, everybody. All right. <laughs> you get to pick first. I'm going, I'm reaching deep, deep, deep yeah, back in the back. Yeah, that'll save you. I'm going to go front. <sighs> I'm ready to do this sexy style. Hey, I love you guys. Gundam style, I love man. you guys. I'm already over that first shot. Oh, uh, you're out, huh, bud? I have a problem. Oh God! <laughs> All right, you're out. <laughs> I feel like I should still be in if I can take it. If I'm not a I bitch. I feel like three shots should be should be. Well, no, that's impossible. I Never stay mind. in. I vote myself back in. As Holy the fuck! Is, oh God! <laughs> that's a, that's okay. a, I mean, if you just want to have not a shot, the, way the game set up. It's he only had four. Us. He only has four shots or five, five shots, shots. Excuse me. So yeah, you can't. But I feel like I won then. Like, look at all these shots that are left. Y'all have to drink all this eggnog by yourself. I know it's kind of yeah. bullshit. I'm the winner. Step back up. I won. Congratulations to me, everybody. Step back up. I'm you on. get in the middle now, bud. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna rotate then. Oh, are well, you God wearing Uggs? Yeah, dude. They're super Show your feet. fucking feet. How are you I already body? showed him. I already showed him. Yeah. Dude, they're super comfy. Those are like Uggs. They're strippers. Yeah. They're, oh they're, dude, they're super thin. There's nothing but just a thin slice of rubber between me and the earth. What? Oh my god, that's your studio! This is my studio. I'll spit on the floor if I want to. Oh, it's Jesus my Christ. studio too. Don't spit on the floor. All right. All right, Jester. Good. Grab a random. I don't feel good. I feel like the fronts have been treated I don't feel well. good. Neither sure. one of you have had a shot with moonshine in it? Like, I'm really that unlucky? Really? Really? <laughs> thick. Like, I was not watery at all, bud. Am I also the only person who plays the fucking lottery every week out of this group? Because I lose every week. <laughs> you gotta keep the bottom toward the camera, man. Keep the that bottom one, toward the camera, man. That one was really thick. You. Keep yeah, the bottom toward the camera. Keep the bottom towards the camera? Yeah, because there's red on the bottom, so they can see. Oh, I didn't know that. We, we said it like four times. Yeah. I'm doing a re-rack. I'm going to oh, shuffle them when you, when you re-rack, by the way. 
Y'all are a bunch of pussies, dude. I feel good. I feel good. I want back in. My nipples are hard, and I got like Tyrannosaurus Rex arms because like eh, my muscles are like seizing. Oh god. Oh yeah, somebody's gonna hurt, man. This is gonna happen. <laughs> Y'all are like, kick, kick, bottom toward the camera. Also, also, I feel like you're wasting eggnog. God damn, still nothing from you two. That's crazy. What the fuck, dude? I want to know your lottery numbers. Let me guess, zero all the way across. <laughs> zero, one, two, three, four, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Every week. Every week. Bottom toward the camera, Jester. Mm. They'll know. Believe me. <laughs> God damn it. Seriously, dude. Kept my hair, bruh. Y'all are loading up your bellies. Oh, shit. <laughs> you don't need to hear this. You don't need to hear <laughs> yeah, you know what? We're preloading with, with, with eggnog. Nobody's talking with me. You we're preloading with eggnog, and then... And yeah, y'all are just loading up. Yeah, I don't know Hold why on. I'm doing Everybody, this. Everybody, jumping jacks. All right. I want... Y'all are bitches, dude. That's you should have done more than five. Yeah, that's what I said. There was a lot of stuff on there. We should have done more than five. And you have to get, like, three to, to lose. I don't want to do three. That was the thing. It's like, I don't want to have to, have to take three of those down. Oh, uh, I think I taste a little bit of it. Nope. How the fuck? Yeah, we're good. How the fuck? <laughs> Whoa! How, the fuck? How many How are the left? Fuck? There's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. Get the fuck out of here! How the fuck? That's insane! This is the cheatingest motherfucking shit I've ever seen. It's like Jesus. Uh oh. Loves you. Yeah, I can uh, see it. I just saw some curdling on top of this shot. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah, that does look different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I feel like you left a lot in there, dude. Oh. It was just water. Don't worry about it. Do you need oh. the trash can? Imagine yourself. Imagine yourself vomiting. Here's that the problems. I like here's see yourself vomiting. That helps. Here's, here's the problem I see. Is I'm I've loaded up with so much extra eggnog. Yeah, that's like, what I just said earlier. But you got out early. You got out light. Like a champion. I won. I said I won. I said I won. I'm looking like a winner. Everybody knows. So that. far, it's looking like you are going to be the winner. <laughs> you're the There's only. No I'm guessing you're the like, only. I know what's I'm happening. Far. I can still see. Shit. Thanks, bro. Point this glasses, they can't see your tears. No, <laughs> drink every bit. Don't be a bitch <laughs> like him. No. No. Oh, God. <sighs> oh. <laughs> That's got the feels. That's what I like about it, man. You're a sincere dude, dude. You like, let your, you like, you imagine yourself vomiting. And that's what I like about you. Like you can see it. Like you can I see how and how you in the and how relieving it would be. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this, stop. I this, said right. I would. this is the last round. Fuck. There's only two more shot glasses. Did left. he look? Wait, I wasn't paying I'm attention. I, he didn't look. I'm He's spinning, just turning I'm just spinning around. around. Like it could be left or right, or it could be right or left. Uh, Who knows at this point? All right, reach in and grab one. It's coming down the final well, two. You, you guys are lucky. Wait, there's only two left. Only okay. two left. You, you, you just reach one out. of them is bad. I don't like it because I seal my fate, and if it's the wrong one, I'm gonna be pissed <laughs> myself. This way, you know I'm not cheating, because I'm not gonna reach and grab one if I happen to know which one. It is. That's so let me have smart. this. No, I'm gonna have this whole princess princess uh, bride moment here real quick. Let me. Shh. Would you put it towards me? I'm <laughs> inconceivable. I built up a tolerance to IOK powder. Yeah. You want the front one or the back one? Do you what do you think? Liquor front in the front, back? poker in the rear. What do you think, front or back? I would take the front one. Hugo, front or back? Back. Back? I trust Hugo because it's more subscribers thing. That we take front. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. It's you fat. Well. You fat. Yeah! Piece of shit. <laughs> He's actually a lot less fat, so we should cheers him for that. <sighs> You're welcome. Check it out. No, don't be a bitch about it. Like, Shut up! Imagine, I'll do it in my own time! Imagine how vomiting would make it feel better. I will punch you in the dick again. Another round. <laughs> another round, Pat. Go refill the cups. No, I can't drink any more eggnog. Another round, dude. I Are win. Me, I'm in. All right, let's I'm do in it. for the championship. I had oh two my god. I feel like I'm already behind, though, because I did have a fuck ton of eggnog. But I'll go again, dude. Championship round. Come on, Pat. What? Come on, man. Nobody vomited. Yeah, I'm not going that way. No. 
I invent the games, man. I don't. I don't. All right, look, look, everybody. When you're playing, when you're playing, Evil Eggnog at home, which I know all of you are, because let's face it, it's a fun game for the whole family. Now, when you're playing this at home, remember, if you've got 28 shots, put more than five in there. Do you want? Do you want to do a, a like in a bonus round? We'll do. We'll just have like I don't know, like eight why lined you, up. Why, why don't we, we just have one evil yeah. eggnog and y'all rock paper scissors for who has to take it? Okay, I'll do it. No, do it. I want to. I want to do. It. I want no rock paper scissors. No, not rock paper scissors. What? I want like a, I want like a lineup of like four. One of them evil eggnog. Look, I feel like I could drink another one. I, could I feel like I could drink do it. another one. Yeah. See. That's not right. That's not right. This is what the people came for. What'd they come for? Read the chat. <laughs> what do they think? I don't know. It just says, Should Ooh, we boy. play more? Never go in against Jester when uh, puking's on the line. Yeah, that's probably fair. This really? is the ECW oh, okay. of drinking competitions. <laughs> <laughs> ECW! ECW! Pat needs to make them all evil as, uh, evil as, as evil as prank. Okay. <coughs> um... I don't want to rock, paper, scissors. Is there anything else that we could do? All right, Pat. I would like to have just four lined up and one of them evil as fuck. Yeah, All right, yeah, well, then yeah. just do one and we'll, we'll rock, paper, scissors. Fuck. How about one that's a giant shot of 100 proof fucking moonshine? That's too easy. Oh. Like, I could definitely do a fucking moonshine shot. All right, what is that? That's fucking terrible, right? That's evil. evil like like All right, so what's Two the out game? of three? What's rock, the game paper, that we can all... You're in, right? Yes, you're in. These are the rules. How about short straw? Uh, what's a thing that you can do with three people to, that only one can win? Dick um, size. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want that. Um, um, read the chat. The chat always knows. I, like, yeah, that's do you guys they, have something? Lifelines and who wants to be a millionaire? Sorry, I saw yeah, what's, who wants to be a millionaire. What's once a game in that England? we can play all three of us at the same time where there's one where there's one, one winner. winner? One winner. But something that you can do to decide it. When I was in uh, England, I saw the original. Who wants to be a millionaire? Are you trying to do and a And he says millionaire. What is that? Oh, Pat's oh. got it. Pat's got yeah, it. Lottery. Yeah. Lottery. We need more than that. Pat's got lottery. Spot. He's going to rip it. Yeah. You get the and we'll draw it out of the, the, the uh, Santa hat. logic hat. No, the logic hat. Oh, we, okay. have a, we have a hat that we did for our logic video. Oh, we got um, a super chat. 10 from Artemis Brain said, well, Merry Christmas to my friends. I've gained through these idiots. I'm grateful for all of the likes and subscriptions to my channel. PTW has made this miserable old heart uh, patient a much happier geezer. Man, look, Artemis would love you, man. It's um, a nice, co it's a nice compliment with a little bit of a uh, little bit of advertisement, which is the best type of that's thing. That's the kind. Like. Look, yeah, we learned that's tonight. That's that how like. you do it. That's, that's how you, you do advertise it, in the super chat. Logic's magic hat. He doesn't get the pick because he doesn't get the yeah. pick. No, he I guess what's left. left. I think I'm really lucky in my Overwatch loot boxes, oh, so I no. just feel like no. hell's yeah, dude. Oh no. Hell's yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the spot, baby. Yeah, I am clean AF, dude. I got the black spot. Hell's yeah, dude. Check it out. That is super curdly too. At least I don't feel like the worst of the losers. You know, in reality uh -oh. though, don't you had that. In reality, <laughs> you had two, and we've all had two, so. I feel like I feel like we could all do this all night. Wow, we're too yeah. good at drinking. Yeah, yeah, we're too good at drinking. I'm done with the, the I'm done with the dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Pat is uh, going to go right, ahead and uh, he's going to secede. All right, all right, all right. Look, and look, everybody. I know we came here because you thought like, hey, Jake Paul rode Ooh. vomiting to success. Was it Jake Paul? Did he do vomiting videos? I don't know, dude. Oh, was that dude perfect? I can't remember. <laughs> it was at Lele Pons. Uh, look, all my experience with YouTube comes from the most recent uh, YouTube uh, year in review thing that they do. Rewind. The rewind. <laughs> rewind. Which apparently That's all I know. Is that like it was Stephen Colbert and Lele Pons were like one YouTube this year? I think that's what I got from it. Well, all I'm right. not lying. All right. <laughs> Championship round is officially over. Is it over already? Year that I, I opened the gift early because I can't stand to wait. It's a diehard Christmas. You can read and, to your kids. And it's written in the format 
of uh, what's the name of that little uh, fairy tale that they did? Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll read the opening thing. Twas the, the, night, before the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and up in the tower, everyone was partying except one wallflower. This is the greatest Christmas book I've ever received. <laughs> and, but somehow I'm still, I'm still upset that Die Hard won. Yeah. Because really, Hugo moved me. Well, what? Hugo moved me. You really think How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a better Christmas movie than Die Hard? Than Die Hard, dude? It's like, you're going to let one sort here, of... Okay, here's my, my oh, final... Hold on, let me read the next verse, because... Look, this is such a great movie, and I think, it, or it's such a great book. John, McClu John McClane missed his wife. Things just weren't the same. And Holly had moved and changed her last name. This is... Buy this book. 50% of you know you want this book. For your I want kids. it. For your kids. Get them for your kids or for your weird, like, relatives. Um, like, who... And the, the ones that didn't, like, touch you. So, at this bits. point, I... I... Not that I had qualms before. I, it, uh, it's official. It's official. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Not only a Christmas movie. It's the best Christmas the best movie Christmas of 2017. Of 2017. <laughs> so I, I don't want to hear more. The Britisher can go uh, take a hike. Yeah, science did this. I feel like he was just bit, he was bitter because because yeah. uh, Bruce Willis dropped Sir Alan Rickman out of the window. And he's just trouble. Sir Alec Rick is Alec Rickman, did he get knighted? I'm sure he had to. Have been. <laughs> you just made that <laughs> shit up. <laughs> yeah, they just throw those knighthoods out if it's a British hey, if person. If Rod Stewart can get knighted, then why Rod the fuck Stewart can't... Rod Stewart got knighted? Sir Rod Stewart. <laughs> oh, Yeah, Jesus watch your Christ. mouth. Watch your mouth, plebe. All right. <laughs> All right, well, that... I think I got across with what I wanted to get across is that Die Hard yeah. is a Christmas movie, and I don't want to hear and any I also more. Hate my friends. I have no more. I want no more. I want to look. I will take another shot. Where's my glass? Here it is. Let's come on. Let's do a Christmas shot of root beer moonshine, just like just like they did back at the original nativity scene, when they brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and root beer Mur. moonshine. What? Mur. I don't think we read the same version of the Bible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, you ready to shut down the stream? Oh, he's just juicy mouthed. Oh. I got a juicy mouth. This place is covered in your spittle. I spit a lot. Uh, I just realized I'm like standing right on top of it. <laughs> yes, you, now your stripper slippers are covered in spit. They're not <laughs> stripper. No, look, whatever. I'm not having this discussion. You fuzzy, fuzzy little whore boots. All right. Well, did we have any more super chats? Did you get them all out? Yeah, I got them. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody, and uh, Merry Christmas. We may, depending on our sh uh, ability We to did shoot, find an old-school video that we're going to try to film. An old-school Poison the Well-style video for. Yeah, something where we're, you know what? We're going back at the creationists for just, just one little bit just to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And I think, I, I'm hoping we'll be able to get it done and get it up by on Christmas Day. That would be really nice, just so we can really stick it in Jesus' fucking bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> The way he, he would have wanted it. The way it. he would have wanted it. The yeah. way he would have wanted it. Like, when I'm going to see that star, and I'm going to follow it to Jesus' bunghole. Perfect. All right. We'll wrap this gavel up, B. Thanks. Thanks, Hugo. Yeah, um, thank you so much, Hugo. Look. Yeah. look Anytime. I, I feel like you came across as the most reasonable and uh, intelligent one of the th That's of very the easy to do. <laughs> In fairness, I'm the only sober one here. And, that, like, and whose fault is 90%. that? 90%. <laughs> I know who to blame for that. Jake, that <laughs> that dick yeah. shit. I don't. Now I'm making shit up. I'm I'm just combining curse words to just be a douche. Be clever. Man. Just All to right. be a douche dick. We'll wrap it up, me. All right. Anyway, thanks everybody. Thanks for uh, thanks for Hugo. Uh, everybody go subscribe to Hugo and Jake. I'm sorry, you're already subscribed to Hugo and Jake. It, formerly the Bible Reloaded. <laughs> um. Yeah. Like I know at least a couple hundred of you are here simply because. Of the, Hugo of the stream we yeah. did on their channel. <laughs> and also the fact that J uh, Hugo shouted it out earlier. We, we literally got like 10 subscribers from that, so thanks. Um, but uh, also, uh, Clever Jester, we, uh, play, uh, we play video games poorly. He's a gaming streamer, and uh, he's actually good at playing video games, but on Thursday nights, we go on his YouTube channel and, uh, and just trigger the shit out of him. 
<laughs> by playing video games terribly poorly. This handsome man is. Stop. Just, Come here. Just kiss. Let's just kiss. Let's just kiss. That's what they want. This is not. You need to stop drinking. You brought this on yourself, bro. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Come here. Kiss me.